Okay, there, guys. It's my show, and we are back. It's been a while. We took a bunch of time off last week. NCAA tournament. And uh, we got a lot of videos made, so hopefully you guys saw four videos this weekend with that time off. But uh, ended up being some good stuff there. We're back for more. See how it goes. I think uh, yeah, we're on week 20 now, so getting to a point where it's getting... Pretty elongated, doesn't look like that season's coming anytime soon. So we probably have at least four more weeks of this season. Max, what's up, buddy? Welcome. I'm pretty excited for season four, though. I want to see what they end up doing. Oh, yeah, I don't have a vault at all. Right. Uh, hey, Metro, hope you're doing well. Dalgrithen, what's up, buddy? Welcome. I'm doing well. How about you guys? Finally got to golf yesterday, properly 18 holes. And that was great. Now I'm itching to do more. I always it gets that way in the beginning of the season. But yeah, I guess we'll see what's out there and hopefully get some. Well, yeah, we can take a look at the weekly score situation because this is definitely a week that we're going to have really low. But yeah, it's week 20 again, week 10 again. So that means next week is the good week, right? Week one was really good, right? Oh, no. It was week two, three. Week three, Volcanic Spike Ball. Yeah, that was a really good week. So we'll definitely see that one more time. Weekly highest keys. Week 10 actually, yeah, we need a few done still, but we're actually pretty good. It was week nine that we needed the most. But yeah, in terms of uh, the project with Harry, um, looks like maybe Friday this week. He's not gonna be around Wednesday or Thursday, so we'll see. Hopefully Friday. Many 18s on 430 I-Level Brewmaster. It's the most trustful thing I've ever done. Oh, really? Well, make sure you press that record button. PTR starts today, and I imagine Season 4 is like two weeks after the PTR ends. Oh, is it officially starting today? When Where did that come from? I didn't hear that. Oh, it's fucking classic spam, though, so I probably missed something. So what are the dungeons we don't have at all? Mirzon's Rise and Waycrest. Then we need 25 Throne. And then upgrades on Fall and DHC 25, and then everything higher than that. Quick hold is not one of them, right? Nope, 25 upgraded. I got 40 Renown and Plunder Storm. I'm good on that mode for a while. <laughs> yeah, not really for me, um, but I have a lot of interest in what they did there because I never expected to see a like purely skill-based version of WoW's combat, and that's pretty much Plunder Storm, so... I'm very curious to see if maybe someday that is how the game is going to work. I don't think it ever will, but... I would love to play a version of the game like that. I would much, much prefer that, especially for like world content and stuff, because it's so boring. Just auto attacking and stuff. I, it sucks versus laggy people. Oh yeah, well PvP and I don't get along regardless, so. It was a little bit more fun than WoW PvP, like regular WoW PvP, but for the most part, it's just, I don't really f like, I don't really like fighting other people, honestly. The early bird catches the worm in, in Plex Storm. Yeah, you're probably right. Alright, fall. Atal, I assume we have. But Atal's always a funny game, so let's go. Uh, anyway, let's see. We can go do some flying around stuff. Go get that done. Hello, I joined the Discord. Dark Hat, this will be welcome. Yes, let me get you hooked up. Yeah, let's give a little bit more, put a little bit more effort into that introduction, if you will, please. Then we'll get you set up. All right, Dragon Ride Racing is gonna be on top of the ledge here. Join us, and we can see how your skills are coming along. 
Okay, we got invited to fall, looks like. Pinky Titan. I should really go to the Emerald Dream thing for the dragon riding, because there's always usually two there, sometimes three, I think. Sage, what's up and welcome. How the hell are you? How you guys been? What you guys been up to? In our time away. Finishing off March Strong here, hopefully. So this is the thing that got changed by Plex Storm or whatever, right? I have to look at it. Something to do with health. What did I used to have on there? I don't know if I had anything on there. Excellent work. I can see that the two of you will soon be formidable competitors. So look back at old VOD. You're right. Yeah, nothing. All right, so we got to turn that off again then, I guess. Health. Yeah, there we go. What is that then? Is that on me, maybe? Display health text. Why is there two? Oh, PvP frames. Who the fuck cares about that? All right, cool. Hey, Slayer, what's up? Everybody? Welcome, Metro, did you see the leaked WoW sub numbers? Yes, I did see that. That's an interesting post. It's not even really leaked. I don't I don't really understand the whole thing. Why like any Blizzard employee would do uh something like that and then not make it public to everybody is really weird. Jungle Gym as well, what's up man? How the hell are ya? What you guys been up to? Guys, yeah, hopefully maybe watch the tournament a little bit, NCAA tournament. Actually, one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Zach, what was it, guys? Zach, Jack, Jack Golke. That's probably one of my favorite college basketball games I've ever seen. I know uh, Kentucky is a fan favorite here and there, but they were always going to lose, unfortunately. Calipari just cannot win in the tournament. And we got to see one of the coolest three point shooters ever. Thunderstorm's so good. Base is boring now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that, but... It's definitely the very... Like, the thing that's the most interesting to me is the combat and how everything's skill-based. Even your, even your attack, like your basic attack. That is a very, very interesting thing. And I would love to see more of that in WoW. From my yeah, we're not gonna get not gonna get anything selectively here, so we're just gonna have to sign up to everything. Figured we get Black Rook, of course. That's the only one that I probably shouldn't have signed up for. Come fly with us. It's bolstering, right? Oh, I don't even have a key. How you doing by the way? I'm doing great. How about you, man? This done, and then we'll head out there. Finally got to golf yesterday, so that's great. First time 18 holes this year. Nicely done. You and your Drake are okay. exceptional. How'd you hit him? Oh god, the first like probably six or seven holes, it was like I even I think it was probably the sixth hole. I said like I feel like I'm learning golf again. Like I I, I was making like 
I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. I was like not even really hitting the ball. Like probably only like 50% of my actual shots, like the club struck the ball properly. Um, and then after that, it just kind of like I just kind of clicked and everything went back to normal for a little bit. But even when things were going really well, like probably like after that, like probably like 85% of my shots, I actually found like the middle of the face, which I was really happy with. But like the ball just wasn't going anywhere. I, I I lost so many balls on the first like six holes. I stopped using the good ones that I have and started just using like random ones that I was finding around the course. So I'm like hoping that that is something to do with it. Because I was like hitting clubs that were supposed to go like, like normally my seven iron goes like 155 and it was like barely going like 145. So I don't know, I guess it was kind of windy and cold there too, but other than that, it was great. Oops. Love the content, Neotron. What's up, buddy? Welcome. Ghoulish, what's up, man? Welcome. How the hell are you? Five, four, three, two. Okay, I actually five. have the recording stuff ready. All right, here we go. So it's bolstering, right? Yep. But tyrannical, at least. Good warm up, hopefully. Feels like riding a bike, though. Played a lot of League of Legends with Harry, and obviously golf, and not a lot of WoW in general because of the tournament. But as soon as I get back on the character, I always feel comfortable. I gotta die? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, what the hell is this damage like? That guy also died by running in front of the mob. Rogue died right away, yeah. Three, two, Have you heard of China banning Intel and AMD? No, I don't really pay much attention to China. I did actually read about China the other day though, because we were talking about, I don't even know how this got brought up, but Mike Tyson's tattoos. And uh, didn't realize he had a Chinese dictator or whatever, not even a dictator or whatever, but like a Chinese dude's tattoo on his body. I never realized that. I swear the amount of times I've seen someone die at the front on this boss is wild. Yeah, it's a very, very, very wide frontal, to be fair. So if you're even halfway over the equator of it, you're going to die. Oh, yeah, we have one person for the fix. <laughs> I can just eat that. I bet that doesn't do much damage. Let's see. One point two seven. That's not that high, but that's pretty dangerous. Oh, and it does something. Uh, I see damage taken increased. All right. Forget it. Hopefully, you guys saw that video I published yesterday, though. That was like a. That got sent to me like I think Sunday night and I was like, oh my god, I need to make a video on this. Fucking tank, man, I don't know. Run away, little girl. 
just like running the mob all over the place for no reason and, and causing it to reset. That's pretty wild. I'm, I guess obviously because I'm normally the tank. I've never really seen that before, but I think even people who don't play tanks can probably say that same statement. Yeah, Everbloom boss, yeah. How wild is that? 1% is brutal reset, yeah. I mean, that, it, it wasn't even like, he's lucky it didn't reset earlier, though. Like, it's kind of weird. Two at least. Looks like three. Yep. Beware. Everybody else uses major defensive, and the Paladin just lived, so that's good. I'm worried about how far you could take him that way. But I've never gone near that far. It's just like pointless. There was even one guy in the comment section who was like, "No, you're supposed to do this as the tank." It's like. Bro, if you're ever risking a boss resetting, like, don't do it. I don't give a fuck what the gain is. Like, what would the purpose be? Like, you'd gain, like, five seconds of, of running time? <laughs> yeah, okay. Not worth it. Yeah, five seconds or just banned. Yeah, which is better. I don't know. It's gonna be weird doing 10s and 15s on a daily basis. Nah, just a number. As long as it's a similar difficulty and the progression is smooth like it is this season, then I don't think it will be weird at all. Do you know he has three deaths already? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Wait, what did he die to on that fight? I don't even know. Dust really don't matter on this key, though. Yeah, not in this difficulty, I agree. Not everyone weapons. This is super sketchy. Now it's up. Probably not a good idea to drag this up and bolster it. Just kill it solo. Bolstering is going to be an absolute mess in this dungeon. But honestly, I don't know if it's worse than Sanguine. I think it was last time I did this dungeon. It was Sanguine now, so... The interrupt up already. What's your favorite DPS to play as? Oh, I don't ever play DPS. Outside of that Ogvoker shit, I've never played DPS at all, really. I played Rhett a little bit, somewhat seriously, in BFA, and then that was it. I can't even imagine it. Like, tanking is the thing that's fun. Not necessarily just Mythic Plus alone, like I need something that engages me enough to keep me interested in DPS would not be it. Three, two, one. I like healing and pain apparently. <laughs> Healing's fun too, that was my original role when I started. So I don't mind going back to it. Healing is quite engaging too, but yeah, a lot of times like DPS, you can straight up like, you know, you're basically just staring at the DPS chart. It's not really interesting at all. Especially in lower keys, you're just not really in danger of dying, so you're just sitting there. Your only purpose is to try to top the DPS chart, and that's not fun for me at all.
But I do like playing DPS like out in world content where it's just you and your survival is totally on your kit. If I had to choose that, I'd say probably the f most fun one right now is Enhance. It's such a unique, like, it's so visually interesting as well as powerful that it's really... I wish there was more world content that I enjoyed outside of leveling, honestly, because there's... There would be a lot of fun to be had on Enhance. our lines a lot here but I guess that's not that big of a deal on a pack like this demon hunter isn't leading the death count is he really playing havoc <laughs> sadly we have seen a lot of bad demon hunters death wise but they always still do good overall what is that spear two handed mog you're using uh, it's called captain lancers it's called dragon bane lance it's from captain lancer the rare out in uh, dragon isles Enhance was the only spec I wanted to level with. A zoomed in character to see the effects. Oh yeah. That's funny. It's very, very gorgeous. Like they are the most visually interesting spec in the game right now for sure. I'm not sure there's even a close second at this point. Arcane is always kind of on my periphery because of how cool the colors of the spells look. Like I really like that dark blue and that purple feel. But yeah, no. Enhance has everything. Three, two, one. We will you Have you gotten the legendary yet? Nope. But I only got to do normal last week. Couldn't get in any heroic groups. I tried a few times and couldn't get invites. But at least I got normal. I was ready to sell, settle for just LFR. They're very active interrupters, so I will go last. Three, two, one. Everybody need to use mine. How have you been, hero? What's up, buddy? I've been great. Watching an NCAA tournament this weekend, it did not disappoint. Although there wasn't many interesting upsets. I got to see Jack Golke, who's now my new favorite basketball player ever. It's late in the season, they really need to up the percentage or something. Well, I mean, it goes up every time you kill it, but yeah. Now that we know for sure it's coming back in season four, I don't, you know, unless it somehow fucking resets, I don't. I hope it doesn't, but I, I yeah, unless it somehow resets, I don't see like they need to make any actual changes to it. Armor strength or strength stamina leg enchant? Uh, well, I have, yeah, strength stamina. The armor one is very, very little armor, I think is the problem with it. Wait, the season four PTR starts today, right? I don't know where where you guys are getting that info from. I haven't heard that myself, but been a little bit out of the loop. I've heard two people bring that up now. I don't know. They don't normally announce when PTR start. I don't think, but it was on Wowhead. Oh, really? When was that? Renegade, would somebody welcome? Never really heard them announce the PTR days in advance like that. He fixes look awful this week. Oh yeah. I was on there yesterday. Uh, that's probably why, because there's all that fucking classic spam. I missed all this stuff yesterday. It was either today or tomorrow. It was one of those this week in WoW. Oh, that, yeah, I never read those, but I guess I should. They used to never actually announce anything in those, but I guess now they do. 
By the way, did they just fix the laser last week on this boss? You used to be able to jump and avoid the damage. Oh, I had no idea. Well, you try to link something, probably, but yeah, well, Blizzard don't, or uh, YouTube don't allow that, unfortunately. They did fix it. Wow, that's. I don't know, there's like late season changes I'm not really a big fan of. What was the trick before to just not move it, right? I've never seen anybody actually do that, but I've been aware that you could do it. Alright, here comes the pain. Although this room is certainly more approachable with bolstering than it is sanguine. Has range, you just spam jump. Well, then you won't be able to cast. Does that hunter have a 3800 main? 3694, it says. Why wow, you know them? Don't worry, we fixed the laser, but now the three bugs are manifested time ways. No, oh, I don't know what bugs are there, I don't even know. Alright, this is. This is a lot of mobs. They applied to my guild a while ago. Oh, okay. Name actually sounds pretty familiar. I don't know if I know them or not. God, Azure Vol is going to be awesome. I can't wait. Yeah, my favorite one for sure. I'm looking forward to all the Season 1 ones again because I didn't feel like I got a good look at those when they first came around. Beware. Death. Beware. The bosses to me are just pug killers. Yeah, I mean, it was hard back in the day. Again, I think a lot of those bosses were complicated by Thundering, though. You prefer Halls to Azure? Halls is definitely the one that... Tuning wise, could be like the biggest change for the season. Beware. Hopefully, they'll change the last boss because that was a really unfair boss. Beware. Beware. Probably gonna die here to this blade storm, blade, whatever it's called. Don't, yeah, okay, he's good. Didn't actually cast it. Season 1 instances will feel completely different. Different classes are meta. No explosive, no quaking, no grievous, no thundering. Yeah. Yes, I totally agree with that sentiment. Halls just isn't fun. First boss kills performance. They need to nerf the dragon skip. Then they kept trying to nerf the dragon skips. The gauntlet was bad. Last boss was broken. Yeah, I didn't really have any issue with Hall. Uh, obviously, the weird bug with the graphics cards definitely not great. But in terms of the gameplay of the dungeon, I didn't think I was. I had no real issue with it. The run back was kind of stupid, but like frankly, that's. I mean, yeah, you shouldn't be dying and expecting to succeed in Mythic Plus as it is. So. I don't really look at that as like a major fault. But my only real issue was the last boss being how, how much health he had and how long the fight could get. But now in season three, we have fights that are even longer than that fight. So as long as the timer is adjusted accordingly, like fall, it's fine. It needs to be a percent based. Yeah, that's, that's the way it needs to go for sure. 
I'm really mad that Survival Hunters voted for the tier 1 bonus. It really kills Mythic Plus AoE ca capabilities. Oh, really? Yalnu also needs its ads to be percent based, but Blizzard seems to be allergic to that. Well, it's just because that's how the fight works. Like that, that fight would be way, 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 way easier if they did that. This fight's a little different because you can't attack the boss. It's like a full minute and a half of running each time, right? Uh, have you ever done tier lists for fixes or dungeons? It can be easy content. I used to make tier lists, but yeah, way too saturated now. I'm, I'm out of that game. Feels like people just do it to get views. I don't really want to do that. I don't really make videos for that that purpose. Oh. oh, I didn't have purgatory up. I didn't even see that. All right, that was stupid. Lost aggro, oh, you think? Any thoughts on UFC 300? Uh, yeah, I, I have a lot of thoughts. Just go ahead and move him. Really bad spot. Is this a bad comp for boss damage? Nope. This is actually probably one of like the better comps for boss damage. I know BM Hunter and Havoc to be very strong, and I guess Outlaw too. Failed the lust though, that's unfortunate. Alright, so we won't be able to pull this whole hallway just because of the bullstring, but looks like a very, very easy upgrade regardless. They do. Together we shall defeat them, Latosius. Beware. Beware. 
I just somehow realized you could bait these leaps. Oh yeah, they throw it at a player, obviously, so. That's why it's difficult, because if you got too many melee, and you get stunned once as the tank, you're probably gonna die. I was watching one of your VODs where you were playing an undergear death knight in Dragonfly preseason. I can relate to what's happening with my brewmaster at the moment. There's so many one shots. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually like the most fun time to play Blood DK is when you're undergeared. Undergeared and like doing like lower keys. It's very engaging. Like just doing a 20 on a fresh DK is far more engaging than doing this 25 on this character. You look tired. I am feeling very tired today, yeah. I don't know, I've had this problem where after the day after golf I always feel like really fatigued. I don't know if it's a coincidence. Usually after golf, I'm like very hungry, so maybe it's because I eat too much or something. I don't know, but. What is your eye level? Uh, 487, yeah. We're getting old, brother. And nah, this is like a after golf thing, specifically for some reason. I assume it's because of the way I would eat after golf, I imagine. I feel like I, I got enough sleep, but... Manoa, would somebody welcome back? Yeah, I think it's honestly because I spent like six days, six hours outside kind of thing. Which I pretty much never do. I like the lust here. I think it's the right choice. Gets us through that phase with minimal issue. Here's the big bolt, and that is that. Hopefully this guy will bop, he bubbles himself, okay. Wait. He bubbled, but he doesn't have the mechanic. <laughs> Nearly a double. If we didn't have all the deaths, it would have been a double upgrade. Will this give you weekly score? No, unfortunately. Not a lot of keys listed this morning, so we just went for whatever we can get invited to. Somehow I managed to do this with only one dispel in the group, too. That's interesting. Here's the bop. If I like AMS and run over this, does it go away? No. Does just nothing. Yeah, they died. That's really bad. Struggling heavily to keep up with the damage and come here, which is going to result in another death. And oftentimes, one death leads to many. This encounter? Oh, that's a great run weapon. Sweet. I guess it's still up after it's over. Maybe just barely. Now nah, it won't be up. Ugh. Oh, is it afflicted? Ah, I see. See, there's a 50k Plunderstorm tornado this weekend. Yeah, I did see that, yeah. Poor man, this last part on 27 was such a struggle. Yeah, it's definitely a lot harder with four people, because then the bugs last way longer. 
And that's gonna lower your DPS even further. Definitely gonna have one more phase of that Dreadlord thingy, I guess. See that time it just killed the guy instead? Does Turtle not work there? I don't know. If not for a God Rester Druid, it wouldn't have happened. Oh, yeah. Alright, one more phase, but even if I had to solo it, it's still easy upgrade. She used it before. You can fade. You can fade death it though. Oh, okay. Turtle's a three-minute CD. Is that right? Oh, two and a half. All right, that makes sense. Okay. No problem. Whenever you come, we will meet Just stuff there. <laughs> Four we things. Defend our cool. Thank you, GG, thank you. Great veil has been lifted from our eyes. We Ravencrests have sacrificed much and more in defense of this land. I see now we may rest. Safe Sleep now. That's what I feel like I need to do. All right, we got Black Rook. 25 upgrade. Oh, I pouted. Rogue. <sighs> okay. The Shadow Bolt before you transform here can be wild at times. Remember having maybe 550k HP healing and 18. Oh, really? You're right. It's obviously not the right week. It's actually week 10. Good call. My favorite voice line from the current dungeon is, I am weary, carry on without me. Oh, that's that stupid fucking one in throne, yeah. It's like, bro, just drop the totem for us at least, like. <laughs> that's all we need. Oh, that's the guy we just did the key with, so maybe he'll invite us. Power keys today, well, we just started, but first one, we got an easy upgrade. What is that you hold, druid? <laughs> Yeah. Here, been invited to that too. Cool. Surprised he didn't take that thirty-one seventy brewmaster. So says so says the shadow of Metravius. Yeah. When I play Druid on that boss, I feel personally attacked. Oh no, he's just coveting what you have. That's not even an attack. Do you play any other tanks? Nah, just DK. I used to try to play all six tanks and keep them active, but like it would always be the case where there's like two that I just could not stand playing, and it felt like kind of silly to only play four out of the six. So I kind of just burned myself out. Hey, Matt, hey, what's up, man? Long time to see. How the hell are you? What's up? What's up? Uh, everything good? Hopefully everything's good for you. Let's go finish the dragon race, and we'll turn that in, and then we'll probably just head over. Hopefully we get a better comp this time, too. We already have a rep pally. I guess every Bloodlust spec in the game will have the ability to also dispel, so that's useful. Oh no, not Hunter, right? Yeah, that's the problem from last time. It is an excellent day for a race. Come fly with us. Life is good, thanks. Sweet man, I'm glad to hear that. <sighs> for some reason, I'm very tired today. But other than that, life's great. Is Frost or Unholy DK better for pushing high keys? I think it like if it was a fight between the two in the UFC, it would be a split decision draw.
double knockout, maybe. Such a long one. Bear long, bruv. Ooh, Alucard. That name sounds familiar, but it's probably a popular one. That's just pointless. Nicely done. You and your Drake are exceptional. I usually pick three tanks to play any season. I had six at one point, but same. A couple I just never enjoyed logging on. Yeah, it's just like a chore at that point. Unholy is good for padding, but not very good boss damage. Oh, yeah. I have not really seen any, like, Unholy or Frosty Ks that did anything special, but I've heard Frost is pretty good with the Legendary right now. Oh, look, you can see the tree now. That's cool. Bruv, who are you? Harry, lol? <laughs> Yeah, man, Harry's, he's a funny cat. Hopefully we'll be back on Friday. He's got to go into London this, tomorrow and Thursday. So hopefully we'll be back Friday and we'll be able to play some more together. Have you seen what Blizzard is doing in phase three of Sod? No, I have no interest. Why are you doing races? I need the, well, does it even give flight sims? It doesn't give flight sims, does it? It gives five. <laughs> I need the, the money, 500 gold. There are some monster unholies out there, I promise. I'm sure there are, but I'm just saying, like, why take one over a Havoc Demon Hunter or something like that? Oh, good day, Wait, Harry's boy. been back? Oh, yeah, you even see it. That's funny. I thought you brought it up because of that. Yeah, Harry is on US now, and we're going to do a coaching series where I teach him how to tank, and he's trying to do, like, high keys. Like, he's trying to become good, you know what I mean? So we're going to work with them and hopefully stream that again on Friday if he's here. This time I'll probably, on uh, last Wednesday I did it and then uh, I decided that instead of me trying to also play alongside him, I'll probably just end up watching him and just stream him. See how that works out. I've never actually done something like that before. But I didn't really feel like it was, like I don't really feel like I, me as Aug is going to help him. It's probably better for him to get a full team of pugs so we don't have to... Then teach him that too at the down the road. I've got to free up some time and check that out. Yeah, we got like a six hour VOD of that from Wednesday, so. That's all pad jungle. I say someone who is pushing that I say that as someone who's pushing on one, get you. Yeah, no, pad can I, I I'm not gonna I'm never gonna be convinced that pad doesn't count <laughs> in a fucking time dungeon. The feeling when you are on Prot Warrior on Triad Boss and Waycrest and every spell you want to reflect gets kicked. What feeling is it? What do you mean? Elaborate. Losing 100, 900k damage per reflect. Okay. So it would be like sadness. Is that the feeling? I don't know what class to boost as my character to 70 into War Within. It's really annoying me because a lot of the classes I've tried on Class Trout aren't really fun. Well, then don't boost any of them. Yeah, if you're worried about not knowing what to boost, then don't use it. Just wait until you're sure or just level things and get the feel for them that way instead. Legendary drop for my warriors. Sweet. You could jump on the old Holy Pally and heal. Yeah, if I had to do higher keys, I would definitely do that. But I don't like, in this phase we're in right now with him, I don't want to like carry him through his mistakes. And it would be very easy to do that as a Holy Pally. So I figured it had to be Og for that. But even that ended up probably helping him more than it should have. Have you seen the private server private server that the team has done setting up OG RuneScape. No. 
I'm not really a RuneScape guy. Tell everyone not to kick the active boss. The active boss always targets a tank. Yeah. I assume he knows that if he's calculating down to the bow reflect. What are the affixes? Uh, it's bolstering and afflicted. Where are you from? I'm from Northeast Pennsylvania. Season 4 already testable on the PTR, no. But apparently it's supposed to be today. So if so, maybe we'll do some on... Yeah, maybe on the PTR tomorrow instead then or something. Get a feel for the Season 1 versions. See them again. It's been a bit. Yasmin's yeah, a fun one for spell reflect, yeah. Looking forward to delete the last boss in Halls of Infusion with spell reflect. Sweet. Yeah, that the breath or whatever the tank mechanic can be spell reflected. How is like the general outlook on prop pally? Are like people happy to have you? Are you getting invites? Did I say Pally? I meant to say Warrior. I love the zone. I gotta level a character through it again. It's been a while. I don't really have anything else to level. I have to level a new character just for it. I think I see a glimmer of something up there on that wall. Give it a climb and check, will you? Any other flying things around here? We did all the ones in those these zones, so we'd have to go to Emerald Dream or something for now. But we're filled, so let's head to the dungeon. That ain't gonna happen, so let's go ahead and just port. Sell all this nonsense as well. <laughs> Many deals for a friend of the Grummel, <laughs> like you. I'm from Central PA. Oh, yeah. Well, cool. Any good golf courses around there that you'd recommend? I guess it depends where Central. PA is pretty wide. With the Legendary, you can play the two fire rings next season on Blood. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you could if you had any of those things. Oh, Emissary of War. You have to do a Dragonflight dungeon for that to pop up, I guess. Just stay away from Belafonte. That's where the courthouse is. <laughs> 
that the name of a town? The infinite dragonfly. Town in Pennsylvania. Let's see. Uh, how do you find the time to game and do the YouTube videos? Well, it's my job, so it's my primary income. Two hours from me, Belafon today. Okay. Center County. All right, that makes sense. Yeah, dead center of the country, the state. Baltimore Key Bridge collapsed. Cargo shit hit it. Holy Four, fuck! Well, just three, like right now. Two, Be back one. later, buddy. I've got a meeting. All right, see, you, man. We'll be here for the rest of the day, so I hope I'll see you there. Oh, it was last night? Oh, yeah. 2 a.m., damn. That's why you don't drive cargo ships drunk. Been there myself. Alright, definitely gonna be a pain in the ass with Sanguine, or with a uh, bolstering. Use the bloodlust spell or not really? Guess not. All drums if you're slow, that's what I should have said. Beware. Another one of those fire mages, yep, losing to the tank. Spamming about combust, still doing 400 k damage. Beware. That's how I found out where the Quarus was. Oh, I was at the Penn State. <laughs> yeah. Penn State, pretty close to that, I'm sure. At this point, I don't invite mages if they're playing fire. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> It'd probably be a good choice. That's 800k short of where he could have been on the pole. Yeah, and the no bloodlust really is the thing that's the most frustrating. They basically only work if you pull the whole dungeon around them. <laughs> yeah. Fun. And like, that's like... You know, like, the difference is like, enormous. As someone who plays fire as an alt, I don't blame people who don't buy fire mages. I hope not. Because they're out there just being carried, pretty much. Let's send this fucking boss. Shit thing. Now we definitely won't have it for the second boss. doing the keys on Ogvoker with Harry. We did this dungeon a few times and people just never would soak that. Like if I didn't go and soak it myself, it wasn't gonna get soaked. It's funny. What's your IO? Uh well, I guess it did, okay. Continuing the trend from last time we played with him. Uh 3352 right now. Okay, he could be full single target build. Yeah, still losing to the rep alley. Beware. 
This quest line is annoying. It ruined my excitement for getting the legendary. Oh yeah, it's. I've heard it's not great. I've yet to see it or do it though, so. Hopefully when I finally do get the item, I will be engaged by it, but I've heard not necessarily as much. I definitely want to record everything that's there. If you're always full single target build, it doesn't really matter if it's Tyrant or Four. Oh yeah. That's productive. I think you played with this maze before. Yeah, I definitely have. I've definitely played with a guy with this name before. But I honestly don't think it was a mage. I'm pretty sure it was a demon hunter with this name. I mean, it's obviously a very common name, so... Probably not the same guy. Hey, Metro, hope you're having a good day, and I've been enjoying the tournament. I have been, yeah. The tournament was really good these first few weeks, first few days. Jack Golke, my new favorite basketball player. I loved how everyone and their kids yapping about a hand shaman, but I see little to none on higher keys. Wait, when is that? I've never heard anybody yap about it. This guy needs to repair. So got three fourths of my final teams left. Yeah, me too, technically. Who are you? Who was your final four? Castlevania character, so it's probably a common name. Yeah. This is like a Dracula thing. I don't really know what Alucard is, but I know it has something to do with Dracula. Dracula backwards? Yeah. Baylor, Iowa State, Houston, and Tennessee. Oh, wow. Was it Iowa State that beats UConn? I don't remember where these teams are. You're not in 26 people coming to keys with yellow gear. <laughs> well, this guy died like seven times between the two dungeons we've done with him now, so. Iowa State beats UConn, gotcha. I'm hoping for that then, because I really do not want to see UConn win again. But I don't know about Houston. They look really, really, really bad these last two weeks. And Duke's all of a sudden playing very well. Alucard is Dracula spelled backwards, so it's not just from some cartoon. It's been used for a while. Yeah, I just don't really get why. We have an offline player. Yep. How do you think Cooper Flag is going to do next year? He's probably going to be under. Like, he's not going to be as good as he is hyped up to be, but it depends more who stays. If they have, like, like I don't expect Filipowski to stay, but if everybody else stays... I don't actually know if Roach is eligible for another year. But yeah, anyway, if it basically everybody but Filipowski stays, then its team's going to be like the top team in the country for sure. I don't really know like what role Cooper Flag plays, but I assume he's going to be kind of similar to like Mark Mitchell. Just a way more skilled Mark Mitchell. But yeah, like, I don't think uh, McCain would stay, but if he did stay... And then they have all the role players they have alongside those two guys, and it's going to be crazy good. I've not really ever seen Cooper Beware. Flag play. I, my uncle was trying to get me to watch the games against like the Boozer Twins or whatever, but I just really don't care about high school basketball. I know a lot of those kids just go out and play college, but for the most part, high school seems totally imbalanced. I guess with a name like Alucard, it's not really fitting for a mage. Yeah, like... I, I gotta look through the disband spreadsheet because I definitely recognize that name and I feel like it's from a disband. But I just don't know like when or where and I don't think it was a mage either way. I 
Maybe the anime Van Helsing. Yeah, that's that's where I have heard about it. But obviously, it's a weird thing, like the Alucard thing. I don't get it. I don't really follow Dracula lore. <laughs> One DPS is offline. Yep, that's correct. While we potentially wait, let's see if we can figure this out. Don't think it. Don't think it's from this season now. It's also a champion in a mobile mo moba. Oh, okay. Not in this one. No, I guess not. Okay, forget it. This guy back, question mark? Oh, invite another. Sure. Sure, yeah, let's replace him and continue. Plenty of time. Is he gonna do it? He fucking did it. Oh my god. Is this a 16 or a 6 or? Quick, invite the rogue. We're running out of time. Perfect. Come fast. This guy says, come fast. He says, babe, I always come fast. I just came back to this season a month ago and I don't get the hype around fire mages. Same. Hey, Ajio, what's up, buddy? Welcome. Is this a paid actor? Probably. My money is that he can't enter the dungeon. Correct. He cannot enter the dungeon. And, like, anybody who's ever done Mythic Plus in the last eight years would know that. But this guy doesn't. This is something that we saw in, like, a 10 a couple times. This is not something I've ever seen in... in a higher key. You can substitute players in a key now? No. Now this more looks more like my burn keys. And you have people doing this? I had a frosty K and a 10 who was doing 12k DPS and said, I've just come back to WoW from a long break. Oh boy. Gotta record him. If I was, I can zone in and out as much as I want. I was even curious if this could be done now, because it never can be. <laughs> Azralon player. This is a 26, right? Oh, 26, Dawn of the Infinite, Galacron's Fall, and this guy's trying to replace somebody who DC'd in the middle of a key. Just when you thought you've seen it all, how the fuck do people not know this in a 26? I mean, to be fair, it probably never changes. Like, nobody actually ever learns it because nobody ever tries to do it. So it's like almost the same thing as a 5, you know, but... The group just doesn't understand how keys work in a 26. I guess so, yeah. This is a clip? Yeah, this is definitely a clip. If 
anybody has anything they want to say and have it appear in the YouTube video, now would be the time. <laughs> That's funny, though. Haven't seen that in a long time. That was bare funny in it, bro. Mate. All right. Thanks for sub, Killjoy. Welcome. All right. So we had a monk healer, demon hunter, mage, paladin. Should we add the rogue too? <laughs> Alright, this is a unique one. Um, so first of all, we gotta figure out the name of the paladin. Gonna be there, good. Iki, Saki, Illidan, DCs. Then ZZ, SSZ, Area 52, tries to replace him mid key and carry on. Here we go, great one. What I want to say is your video has helped me with my tangy anxiety greatly. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. To be honest, they should really fix the DE thing. Uh, with someone being DE for over a two minutes to be able to invite anyone and he is being instant summoned to the dungeon. Oh no, that's intentional. Yeah, no, that would be way too gameable. It's not a fix, it's not a bug. <laughs> this, is, this works intentionally this way. It'd be way too easy to switch players out otherwise. Gain benefit from it. The keystone system is just flawed, unfortunately. DC for two minutes is a brick key. Good luck getting people to stay around for that. I mean, like, maybe if they change it so, like... If you wanted to replace somebody, you could, but the key had to go downward after that. Like, automatically the timer ended. I mean, yeah, that would maybe be a decent compromise, but... Had someone try and relist a key for replacement players for Siege of Brawls run once. I had to explain to them, but it was a low key. Yeah, I mean, we had it happen in Season 2. Hi, what's up, buddy? Welcome. Uh, we had it happen in Season 2 when we were on our uh, the Observation of Ochre thing, where we were doing the low keys only. And I'm not, you know, that wasn't that surprising to see in that low of a key, but to see somebody try to do it in a 26 is pretty wild. What if they did someone like League, where if somebody leaves, you can reset your key? Yeah, it'd be the same thing. People would do it all the time just to gain benefit. Yeah, it's way easier to abuse. That's even easier to abuse than the other system. Ah, uh, we got Blackbrook 26 now. Bonkers, what's up, buddy? Welcome. Learned something new today. I didn't know you couldn't join a Mythic Plus in progress. I've literally never been in that situation. We would always just stop after he's seeing. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't. Jackie, what's up? Long time to see. How you been? It took me 10 seconds to realize how bad of an idea that was. <laughs> you still typed it, though, which is the crazy part. This is the wild part about Mythic Plus feedback. It's like people type shit that's just like... <laughs> I mean, no offense, but just like just a terrible idea and it's like and then they get mad when blizzard doesn't doesn't listen to them it's like what i don't think in two minutes i don't think two minutes can kill a key before level 20 certainly can kill a key uh that is higher but if you think about it most keys that are done below 20 half the time they're dead weight dps's yeah i mean no doubt it's not that's not a factor in why it's like that no doubt I'm just a fan of keystones with multiple charges. Give like two to three charges per keystone. I like that idea, but only if the charges are based on gameplay and not just like at the start of the week you have three charges. Because what that would mean is just people are just like looking for keys that they can practice on and not taking them serious, you know? But if you incorporated my idea uh, into that system where you can uh, get a currency from completing keys, and then use that currency to gain charges to protect your keystone, then yeah, I would totally be on board with that. But only if there's a way you can recycle the charges, because otherwise it would people would just be like, 
It'd be like it was in Legion. Do you guys play in Legion where people are like, my key, your carry? You guys ever see that? Basically, a group of four players would make a group and then they would list the key, like list the group looking for the keystone. Like, look, we got a group together for Black Recalled 26. You bring the 26. And then that would be way, way, way more common in that system because of that ability to do that with only the first time for the week. The reason you can't is because people would sell final boss kills all the time. Yeah, maybe. I wish there was an in-game reputation system for levers, but then bots would take over by mass reporting. <laughs> there's ways to make it work, but the real problem with uh, any type of reputation system is that there's no current way to differentiate between pre-made groups that would just friend each other and people who just never met, you know? Like League of Legends, after playing it again, I realized like it does it really, really well. In the beginning of the game, you can't even see who people are until the game starts. And on top of that, like, uh, you know, you well, I don't actually know about this part, but I don't know how they stop friends giving like benefits or whatever to each other, but I assume they have a plan for that too. Jabber Gloop, what's up, buddy? How about them Purdue and Duke stomps on Sunday? Yeah, Purdue didn't get eliminated by a 16 seed this season, so they're playing better. Duke actually, last game for Duke was really, really good. That was very exciting. Until Jalen Blake almost got murdered. People still do that now, though. Not as much with the four stack. Ah, I've never seen it. It's almost never the case. Back in Legion, it was like 50-50. Like, most of the keys listed were somebody looking to just do a key, a specific key. Do you have a video explaining your UI? What do you mean explaining it? I have a video with all the links to all the pertinent stuff in it if you're trying to copy it, yeah. I quite like League. Only started recently. Oh, yeah. I played it a ton in MOP and then took an incredibly long break from it. But then when Harry was playing again, I decided I'd give it a try again. But honestly, I don't really enjoy it. It's funny for like the low-key moments kind of thing. Like how we have in Lee and WoW. Also in like low elo league. Some really funny moments happen. But it's just, yeah. For, it was like enjoyable for a few weeks. But then I just like, I, I always do this. Like I just don't like PvP games. That's just how it is. It's really unfun, especially because the same thing that happens in WoW is happening in that game where there's like somebody on your team who is just doing the complete opposite of what you hope they would do. And then it just becomes really, really unfun because now you're sitting here like worrying about your own team instead of the other team. When watching a stream, it's hard to see where you are. Which lane do you normally play? I've been playing support, Malphite support. And it's quite fun uh, because that ultimate is such a powerful thing. And if you could do well with it, it's really engaging. But unfortunately, because I have such high latency playing on EU, I, I oftentimes use it and then it just doesn't hit people, even though I don't like I don't have any feedback on why it missed. I've been playing some Diablo 2 again, though. Back to the modded version of it. It's been a, it's a tough, it's a tough game. I forgot how hard Diablo 2 can be. Tried making an Amazon, and it's like at that interstitial space in between, like tier two of the difficulty and tier three of the difficulty, whatever those things are called. And I just can't really kill anything in tier three. But I'm not gaining any experience from tier two, so it's like I'm now kind of fucked. If I remember correctly, uh, plus rep from friends in league gives you nothing, but there's nothing stopping a four stack from reporting the odd man out. Oh, really? Well, I'm just talking about rank games at least, but yeah. I tried PoE, but it's overwhelming and hard. Yeah, basically like the mod that I'm playing for Diablo 2 and that I've been working on is basically like taking all the stuff from PoE and bringing it to Diablo 2. It obviously doesn't have the talent system, but it's not far off because like every single spell in the game appears as a naturally occurring O skill, which is basically the equivalent of a talent point in uh, Path of Exile. So like if I wanted, I can play a Barbarian with like 30 talent points, quote unquote, into like Frost Aura or something like that, you know? Just have to sacrifice it on gear. Turning Hell is really hard if you're not a Sorceress or a Hammered in, yeah. I'm playing a marksman or whatever it's called, Amazon, and it's like, it's very capable of killing stuff, but I just got one shot by everything that actually attacks me. 
so I don't know what to do there. I need better gear. I still have like, I don't really understand the gearing systems. But I have like, there's like three tiers of gear and I still have like mostly tier one gear. So I need to replace that. Doesn't re-roller in the title means that it's a completion at the least? No, it has to be an upgrade to re-roll. Uh, huge DPS. I hate this. What, in the group somebody put that? I don't even notice. He changed the title to huge DPS. Oh, Jesus. All right, anyway, Blackrock26. Weird stuff going on in the chat here. What are the fixes this week? Uh, it is uh, bolstering and afflicted, yeah. It's a tough one. Especially in this dungeon. It's probably the worst dungeon for it. I guess Everbloom is probably even worse. We have two rep pallies. Uh, key's gonna be hard to find this week with those affixes. PTR coming out won't make it any better. Yeah, no doubt. I'll definitely be shifting over the PTR if it does indeed include season four for tomorrow. Gatmir and would somebody welcome. The war of the ancients. Everbloom was misery on Bursting Week. Oh yeah, that's pretty easy. You can just say it. As Death Knight, at least. Oh, we're back on the observation of Ochre uh, for when me and Harry play. Uh, the next time I do that, I'm probably just going to record his. Because I don't really think like me actually playing helps him at all. Like, I don't think it helps him learn at all. And it'd be a lot easier to coach him, quote unquote, if I was looking at his screen. I think that's like the biggest problem with it. It's like I'm not seeing what he's seeing. Even though I'm in the dungeon with them, it's not, you know, I'm not viewing it through his lens, so. If you aren't fire plus lightning res capped in hell, uh, that might, that might be a small help. No, it's like, I just have such little health on the character that no matter what, it one shots me pretty much. But yeah, I don't know. I need to like go back and farm gear, I guess, from tier two or whatever, but it's not the most fun to go do that. I'd rather go right to the next difficulty. Plus the mod that I'm playing is like way, way, way harder than default Diablo 2, but there's a lot of power gain to it. Uh, why is the standard route go right at the start here? I don't either. I don't know the reason either. I used to go right in the very beginning of the season, and then everybody was like, you should be going left instead. So I started going left, and then halfway through the season, we were getting our ass kicked on the first pull, and everybody was like, you should be going right instead. It's like, okay. I guess it's just mostly about which mini boss you want to fight, because there's one more caster on left, but I don't really know, to be honest. Mini boss on the left is pain, really. I feel like the mini boss on that side is way easier. Nobody's gonna get killed by a frontal on that side. What's going on with this guy? 
Another rage DC? I have no idea. It goes offline, I guess. My question is, why isn't that guy releasing? I don't think you can release if you're not online in the video game, can you? I'm not actually sure how that part works, but I don't, I've not tried to do it in a while. Presumably now. Uh, but yeah, hopefully he comes back. <laughs> this is the key I actually need. Two DCs now. Sir, you are cursed. Yeah, two in a row. We actually fucking Harry DC'd while we were playing League this morning as well. So three competitive matches in a few hours of me playing video games today. We've lost players to DC. I don't know why, if you're like, actually, if it's an actual rage quit, why the fuck you would even join then if you're gonna leave after one pack like that? Did he die in the first pull? Uh, yeah, he died once, yeah. Honestly, we probably could for a minute. Just bullstring's gonna handcuff us like crazy. What a loser. You have to do the right hand or the left hand to make the L. It would be the right hand, I guess. You guys remember the L on the forehead thing? You don't see that very often. Area 52, I have a lot of bad experiences with players from that realm. Oh, really? It's a very, very large realm, so I think you probably see more people on average, but... If you just relist it, you can replace them. Oh, yeah, I'm the group leader. I should try. That's a good point. Did you look in the back streets? Or what? I can't imagine how miserable your mental quest experience might be if you're leaving after dying on one pole. <laughs> yeah, especially... Like, I mean, you, these people end up leaving quicker than, it, like, the group forming process takes, like, twice as long as the key. It's kind of weird. I mean, surely nobody, like, surely it's an actual DC, right? Like, it must be a legitimate DC. Because why would you list your key and then do that after one, one pull? It's one thing for it to, because that was his key. It's one thing for it to be somebody else who does that. But, like, if you, it's your actual key, uh, like, what are you thinking? Why'd you even fucking list it if that's how you're going to act? Surely that's not real. Oh, he's actually back. See, I told you. I have the worst internet on the fucking planet. I'm sorry. Well, as long as he's back. No wonder you'll never know if you don't go. Oh, really? Uh, so he did DC. He didn't actually rage quit. Yeah, that'd be the strangest rage quit ever. Like I said, well, I guess it could only be stranger if we didn't have any deaths on the first pull. I take back the loser comment. So we take this and like fold it up and put it back in their pocket or something like that. I don't know where, what we do with it now. What do we actually do with that now that that's the case? All right, we do have slappy hands for it. I actually remember to save it. This is definitely going to be a mess though with uh, only one or two DPS alive. Not going to go great here. Good question. Origami works for me. Yeah. Frost Mage though, so we get slows. I wonder if he did actually rage, but then expected the group to be disbanded. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. It's probably the case. You probably see that more frequently than... You know, like when people actually come back, they probably don't expect the group to still be there. Now he's stuck waiting for the boss to die on 26 Tyrannical. <laughs> yep. Welcome to bugging. And we certainly couldn't wait for him. But this is going to be a pretty long kill, I imagine. Not that long, though. I mean, maybe like four and a half minutes. If he was alive, it'd probably be like three and a half minutes only. He did have another death, though, to the fight. Go 
hopefully the uh, the guy won't DC again though, because there's always a chance of relapsing, you know? You always have that second DC waiting, I feel like, after you DC once. Mage just putting German words together to create his name. It doesn't make much sense that way. The mage is... Oh yeah, this looks German, doesn't it? I can't imagine this area. Then the sand on Afflicted. This is making me sad in advance for tomorrow. Oh yeah. Power War is trans... Power War... Power War Trans Salter. Is that a word? He may die in the first pack after the boss. Oh, translated. Power War. Gotcha. Can't imagine there's a lot of German people playing on US realms, but... It's actually under four and a half minutes. So that's pretty pretty fast with four people. Unrelated, but maybe related. There was a headline this morning of some big solar storms. Internet outages related. Not nah, probably not, but you never know. Harry DC'd because his like mom pulled the fucking plug on the router, he said. But who knows about these last two fellas? You never know. Maybe they're in a area where there's big solar storms. Where would you have to be for that? The moon? Or is there bad solar storms? The sun, I guess, probably. But nobody really lives on the sun, I don't think, do they? Alucard is a pretty edgy teen name, IMO. I'd say they have buffed to bricking keys. <laughs> yeah, that one, I wouldn't be surprised if that was legitimately like a pull-the-plug situation. This one made way less sense. If it's an actual solar storm happening, no one would have internet. Oh, no. Not even people who live on the sun? I guess especially they wouldn't have it, maybe. There's an eclipse coming, but not for a few days yet. Yeah, when is that? I've heard about that. It's in April, isn't it? Are you guys going to go watch it or whatever? What time does it occur? There is an island in the sun, I hear. Oh, really? I've heard about bla the black hole sun or whatever, but never an island. Is it a Weezer reference? Maybe. I don't really know many songs by Weezer. What is their number one? Like, what what, what are some songs I'd recognize? Buddy Holly. Oh, that one I've heard, yeah. Undone the sweater song. What the hell? Flip on the telly, wrestle with Jimmy. Oh, yeah, that's Weezer. Say it ain't so, oh, oh, oh. Your life is a something in the lyrics. Say it ain't so, oh, oh, da oh. the lyrics, I don't know. Heartbreaker, is that the name of it? Heartbreaker, that's a different, that's like Kiss or Heart or something, isn't it? Uh, Undone is a good song, gotcha. No, the lyric you missed. Oh, okay. I missed every lyric, I don't know if you didn't hear that. A big, a big solar storm like the Carrington event back in the 1800s would knock everything out. Oh, shit. Got northern lights down in the Midwest. Whoa. That sounds like that'd be really bad for everybody, huh? Would that like mean all food supplies get destroyed? Nothing builds teamwork, like instantly teaming up on the poor guy who doesn't know. What do you mean? We need a good solar storm so people can go out and touch some grass. Would you still be able to go outside though if there was a solar storm? 
Solar storms are sun farts that knock out electronics. Oh, like in the Matrix. Killed all those weird squid robots. Sail wow, good afternoon. I agree. You won't hear me dis uh, disagree with that, that's for sure. What's up, man? How are you? Oh, I'm great. How are you? Telegraph operators were getting shocked, so they unplugged them, and they were still able to send telegraphs. What the fuck? Anything good in the vaults? I didn't have a vault this week, so no. No real difference in every other week, though. I'm not really sure why I didn't have a vault though. I killed two nor I killed one normal boss. You have to kill two normal bosses, I guess. Yeah, that must be it. Are you excited for hero talents? Yes, that is without question my number one anticipation for next expansion. It's two, then four, then seven. Okay. Well, yeah, then no, I didn't do enough. I pretty much only killed normal. Fire rack and that was it on my death knight. Fucked around with that plex storm shit and then also uh, watched the tournament on Thursday and Friday, so I didn't really log on while much. Yay. Lust is up. You will not escape. If you had to put it under one bullet point, what does Bladika have that Guardian Druid doesn't? Self healing. The ability to solo bosses, I guess. Buddy, buddy, buddy. What's up, Rich? Hey, long time no see, man. How you been? What do you have to do? Gods, hold them off. I will burn you alive. In bed, bro. It's 4 a.m. How have you been? I've uh, been good, man. Good. We have a good night's sleep coming up. Bloody K is harder than Bear IMO. That's correct. Not sure if there's much opinion there. What happened with that guy in Florida that snapped his leg? What was the prognosis? Oh yeah, he's he's gone. They already lost as well soon. Vermont had a really scary injury as well that I never checked up on. No embellishment items. What do you mean? Embellished items. I have two on you. Yeah. If that's what you're asking. Cannot escape. I'm not trying to to escape. Cross mage looking powerful in this fight, though. I guess probably because of the ad cleave. No prio, man. No prio. Got it. No prio, no problem, right? Gods, hold them off. 
I will burn you alive! Good evening, Macho. Hope you're feeling great today. Welcome. How you doing? What you up to? Alright, we kind of fucked this up last time. Yeah, okay, this is good. I think we can get this. This will work better this way. Now we can pull like a large swath of the small mobs next. Pretty much the rest of the small mobs and then the big pack at the end and that'll be the pull. Can we expect a season three disband review? Uh, I haven't really been doing them because there isn't really enough of mine that are useful like for that type of thing anymore. But honestly, yeah, maybe. We'll see. Maybe I will. What I did last season was I just reviewed all the ones we had submitted and then added in the, the handful of ones that were funny on my end. But yeah, I think honestly this season there probably is enough because there's honestly so many bizarre moments that have happened over the last few weeks even, so yeah, maybe. They're gonna kill people here, no doubt. Mm, it's only the one death that will take it. Yeah, it looks like it'll only be one death. That's neat. That could have been a lot worse. Oh, cheat death there, wow. Didn't expect that. That means I might, okay, yeah. Uh, ice pound. Death fear, hope you're good. I hope so too. That's all I really could want for myself at this point, so yeah, we have that aligned. How you doing? What you up to? Anything good? Three, two, one. I saw something that I hadn't really anticipated being a factor though for Blizzard. And I don't know that it is, but uh, there's some speculation that um, Blizzard's original timeline has been upended by the Elden Ring announcement. I don't know. Do you guys think that might be the case? Because like, Elden Ring was anticipated to be out like way... Like it was supposed to be in the spring pretty much. Everybody expected that. But now it's not coming out until the summer. And I bet Blizzard probably wanted their expansion to come out shortly thereafter I don't know I just feel like the timeline is slowed down now it's hard to believe that we still don't have an alpha 
let alone a season four. I don't know when the Dragonflight Alpha came out with regards to season four of Shadowlands, though. I'm fantastic. Every night before I sleep, I watch your videos. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. Glad that you're enjoying them that way. I have a conspiracy theory. When you search for a specific dungeon and level, let's say Black or Cold, there is none in LG. The moment you time Black or Cold, there is tons of them available. <laughs> What's the theory? You can just test that pretty easily. Just have somebody you know list a key. All right, relatively difficult fight here. Your last two fights are going to be hard for us. Probably won't get to less the way we might want, no matter what here. Dragonflight Alpha was July and Season 4 was very early August. Yeah, that's what I thought. It came out first. So that seems kind of strange. Unless they're also in trying, like, doing the same thing they did with the patch, or they're trying to not do it an Alpha, basically. It wouldn't be surprising. It, in the early expansions, they didn't allow any public testing until much later into the system's developments. Maybe Sod and the Catabeta slowing them down? Nah, the classic team doesn't have anything to do with that. I didn't even get hit by that. There are loads of here talents to test though. There's a lot to test, yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're not gonna, you know, I, I don't think that has anything to do with their uh, mentality on that. Might play on Holy DK if the Horseman Tree is OP. Looks like it's gonna be very fun, regardless of how it, what its power looks like. Hey Jose, what's up, buddy? Alpha is next on the roadmap thing. Went Pirate, then Alpha. Oh, really? Guess I didn't see that. But is there anything about Season 4's launch on there, or is that just gonna come definitely after the Alpha still? It's like if the PTR for that starts today, then when could the Alpha be tomorrow? <laughs> that would be a terrible decision on their part. It's after Alpha. What the fuck? Huh. Well, I guess we'll find out. I always a lot of anxiety around that time because not getting in is a huge blow for a content creator like myself. Season four is when Plunderstorm ends, yeah. Six weeks is probably the accurate guess. Alpha access if they don't want to give a 15 year customer. Well, alpha, usually the first wave of Alpha is pretty much like only friends and family and then influencers. So I'm sure there's like some people who get it who are just regular players, but the thing is, this time you're guaranteed access because of the purchase, the pre purchase. So honestly, if you don't have that, I, w I, I don't know. Like, 
If you didn't buy the pre-purchase thing, I would definitely not expect you to even get in. Because obviously they only invite so many people no matter what. And so now all those people are guaranteed slots. I'm not really in a rush. I'm enjoying this kind of downtime in a while right now, though. Season 4, I'm not in a rush for either, even though I'm excited for it. Beware. Beware. Alright, well, we have an enormous amount of time. Only question remains is the boss's death. Which I don't know that would be a problem with this bulky-ass comp. We have three people who could remove the bugs from themselves. And then we have two extra bops as well on top of that. You shall Four, never have three, our world. Two, one. Looks like we're saving the last, which... Guess I'm Burn on the away. fence about, honestly. I, oh, God. What the hell just happened? I got hit by that, I guess, somehow. 2.2 million from the shadow damage? Well, I don't know how I got hit by it. But either way, I did. One down. One battle Turn rose remains. Turn away. Three, two, one. I definitely like less on the first phase. Made it through. Everybody lives. Very good spirit link there. And we're not going to immune this off. And now we are. That's it though. All we have is ice block. Well, actually, ice, most people don't even have ice block, I guess, right? I don't know if he has it or not. Block is a must in this dungeon as a mage. Oh, really? Where else? Probably this third boss, too, I suppose, yeah. Phase, but yeah, no issues. Still have two battle reses as well. Three, two, one. There's the block. Great. Four minutes plus here. Very easy kill. Very easy key. Alright. Don't think we need that for actual score, but we should get weekly score, obviously. Do 
Yeah, okay, cool. You should have said GG and left when the guy DC'd. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that was the same fucking key. That's funny. Guy was offline for not too long though. All right, Black Rook 26 upgrade. And we got Resto Shaman. Mage and two Paladins. Cool. Not bad considering the Paladin missed the full boss. Yeah, seriously. You have good success with Resto Shaman. Yeah, Resto's been really good for us. Um, Stat-wise, it's dominating. 35% impact rate. That is five, five point something percent higher than the second and probably 10% higher than the average. And then in terms of disband rate, it's... Yeah, I mean it's not great. It's it's above it's about average. Actually no, it's below average. Yeah, I would say it's below average. So yeah, it's solid. Very 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 good uh pick for us right now. I'd love to see more holy pally, but I don't think we're seeing them. They're just not very popular. So otherwise, Resto Shaman is now king. All right, we have been invited to a key. Is this the throne? I don't even know. Looks like it. Terranus, huh? It's another pretty bad dungeon for this one, the set of affixes. Because we won't really be able to make up time with big pulls. Well, it probably was too popular last season because of Og. But we'll see them again in season four. Uh, what makes you say that? Maybe the set bonus or something? I don't know what set bonuses they'll have. I'm going to quickly run to the bathroom. Hopefully not everybody's here already. Be right back. Yeah, yeah, I almost drowned. <laughs> it's funny. Hey, left lane hog, what's up, buddy? If he drowns, that'd be sad and hilarious. Who? gonna be gone that long enhance an outlaw you don't see that very often oh yeah weird comp maybe are we sure that those are the specs that guy's ellie Yeah, <laughs> Sky Tide with somebody. 
Did you see the Baltimore Bridge collapse? No, I just heard about it today. I thought wind shear was enhanced only. Oh, no, God, no. Resto has it, too. Five, All right. Four, this one's going to really eight, suck. I don't think we can pull the whole thing. Og got hella nerfed since it's OP version from Season 2. So even with the Legendary, it might not come back, as well as Holy Pally. Oh, yeah. But what, so I don't really... I don't know. Holy Pally's... I think Holy Pally is just nerfed, like... So that's probably not going to see much of a difference. It's not like somehow Season 4's Dungeon Pool makes them good again or something. I don't think so. Almost failed the loss. That would have been catastrophic. First sheet death even on Tyrannical, but bolstering is probably a big culprit. Almost had both lost there. Only spec I'm willing to bet on is Fire Mage and Vengeance. What, to be powerful next season? Fire Mage, I don't, I don't even look at Fire Mage as powerful this season, so I don't know. Well, unless it gets nerfed hard, it's probably I'm probably still gonna play prop pally. Yeah, well, I don't really think there's gonna, like many class changes in the works to be honest. Although I guess they like did a bunch of class changes with this patch that just came out, so maybe. Please no more fire magician. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. With tanks, you can get away with. People will eventually invite you. Mm. Don't know about that. More purple wizard, please. Yeah, I'd like to see more arcane. All the arcane mages I've seen have been very good recently. Forgot to look at that last guy, because that guy was frost. Yeah, he did solid. Glacial Be spike aware. top damage. Hmm. Fire Mage is the only class that'll do less damage in the tank while literally flaming everything you do. <laughs> You're right, that's definitely the only DPS spec that would do that. Shadow Priest is going to be interesting because they're getting the Season 2 2 set, but Shadow got reworked since then. Oh, yeah. So, I like, the set is going to change based on how they used to play. I was sad that Prop Pally didn't get to keep our season three set. Oh yeah, but the season they, they get season one, don't they? Isn't that one like really, really powerful? I like that one way better than the season one. Oh really? Hmm, I don't know much about it either, I guess. But I've been told that the season one for Prop Pally, oh, okay. it is powerful, but it's boring. Oh, okay. I think every spec one with their best spec. 
Yeah, I don't think like anybody like successfully trolled the spec if that's what you're asking. I'm certainly pleased with the Bloody K1 being season two. That's my favorite of the three. Season one was awful. Like, I mean, I guess all the season one ones were boring, right? Like that was their intended design. I remember them saying that. So it's actually kind of weird that anybody voted for season one. People vote for power, not fun. Well, that's what I mean, yeah. It's weird. Because, like, the season one ones would be, like, theoretically the least powerful. I guess since they're probably going to rebalance everything, I guess it would change. I wish people pick the season one transmog for blood so I can get it again. Oh, you can still get the transmog. The items are still in the game, they just don't work. Will we get a season five? No, definitely not. Like I said, War Within is already behind in my eyes. The fact that the that we're talking about April already, like at the absolute least, a beta slash alpha phase would have to be six months. So the fact that we're already talking about April means like, yeah, we're not looking at launch until probably the same time as always, like November. Beware. But you never know. It'll be right before Christmas again? Yeah, that's how like the last three expansions have been, right? I don't remember when BF8 came out, but I know Shadowlands and Dragonflight were definitely right before the holidays, which I, I like. I prefer that. But I get the fucking will first people get fucked by it somehow. Uh, I like that they squeeze in a minigame, which some people have no interest in. Yeah, it was a really cool addition. It's something they've been working on for a very long time, too, apparently. Metro, what's your favorite key this season? I try not to have a favorite, because then you end up running that one more than the others. At this point, I probably could, you know, the season's almost over by now, but I don't, I don't know. I honestly don't know if I have a favorite, regardless of that. Give me early December release, as pretty much always got to be November. Just because Blizzard, you know, they have holiday time off, obviously, so. The latest an expansion can really be is the last week in November. Because then that means raid launch first week of December, or second week of December at most. And then they can go on holiday. I like a good thicket. Oh, yeah. Did they confirm the dungeon pool? I guess... Still not by Blizzard, but yeah, now that the PTR is coming up and it's data mineable, it does seem like it's confirmed that it's just the eight official dungeons. Right, the roadmap says late it's late summer. That's what I'm saying. They're they're they must either be off that mark or they're gonna do like a very limited beta and alpha test. Like they've been already alpha testing it privately, kind of thing. Like they did with the patch. That there's no way it can come out in the summer otherwise. Short season four, just like Shadowlands. Well, I wouldn't even really be that short, provided it comes out when people expect it to, which would be the, pretty much like the last week of April. But yeah, one way or the other, short alpha is the real thing to be worried about. Uh, if it's all eight, I'll be running a lot of Neltheris. Probably Brackenite too. I used to hate it, but it really grew on me. Oh, cool. Yeah, you gotta run them all equally in my eyes, so. Uh... But yeah, they made some massive changes to Neltheris already, so. That'll be one to take a, take a look at if the PTR does come up. Is it for sure today, or is it just this week? Because I definitely would hope it would come today. 
It's today, okay. What did they do to Nelth? Uh, they basically removed the chains, TLDRs. Probably what I would say. The chains now only apply a damage taken debuff to the enemy and send them instead of actually do damage. Chains no longer do damage, but they stun for a longer duration and apply damage taken. Yeah, but it's only a few seconds regardless, so it's probably not going to make any real impact on the key. The question is whether or not you can stack the chains damage taken and stun thing. That would be the only real question. Chains are gone? Those pulls are so much fun. Yeah, it was just way too easy though, right? Like, you can literally break an entire dungeon's trash pool just by having five people all click a chain at the same time. I would assume they would just extend the duration. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, like... You never know, I guess, because if so, then that's a really, really, really big nerf. Twenty-five seconds of stun, but oh well, do you think it would be five stack? Like, how would it extend the damage part? It'd be twenty-five seconds of that too, I guess. Junkyard bots feel less like cheating compared to chains. Right. You have to actually like do something. Chains straight up like it just almost it broke the trash. Like it would one shot the mobs. If you had five people, I'll do it. Dungeon needed it. Nelth was a boss dungeon. Right. The eternal question, will we use the bloodlust spell? Still, Nelth was the first key I ever ran, so it holds a special place in my heart. Oh wow, the first key you ever ran, huh? I wonder what the first key I ever ran was. Beware. Probably Maw of Souls. Actually, I want to say it was Dark Heart Thicket. Was that a free old? I don't actually remember because I started raiding in Abaris. Right. Beware. Hard to remember the first of something that you do hundreds of times, I feel like. I don't get saving lust for the second boss. Yeah, it's awful. At least on Tyrannical Week, I can kind of see it, but we're going to be really limited by the timer in here for sure. Kind of strange that we're getting eight Dragonflight Dungeons instead of Maw of Souls. Why? This makes total sense to me. This is what it should have been from the get-go, but the reason they're likely saving it for the last thing is because they don't want to have the dungeons repeat season after season. And so in order to do it, then they would either have to do a season with no Mythic Plus of the, the Dragonflight Dungeons or just end on it. I got my laptop yesterday. I get to now be completely useless at work. <laughs> it's funny. You guys with jobs where you can, because you're like a security person, right? Yeah. That one's a little bit more normal, I guess, but. Beware. Like, who was it? I can't remember who it was, but somebody was like a, a manager at a bank and they just like sit here and watch the stream all day. <laughs> it's like a, you think we're going to see Shadowlands Dungeons next expansion? I do IT. Oh, that's right. Okay, my bad. Probably next expansion, maybe, but it's still, like I said, it's a lot of work. It's just more work than any other dungeon, which is always the thing I'm a little concerned with.
I mean, they should at very least give eight new dungeons in War Within. Oh, they obviously will, yeah. There's always new dungeons every expansion. I like how the dungeon selection went this expansion. Oh, really? I'm not a big fan of them doing this, period, frankly. But yeah, I wasn't, yeah, I think it was solid. Like the, the seasons got more fun as they went on, which is a good thing. Hey, Harry, here he is. I could hear, I could hear you saying that. There he is, mate. How's it going with Chip too? How how those league game league games go after I left? Beware. Got any pentakills? Not too good. I got raid in twenty minutes. Sweet. Well, good luck on that. Hopefully, me and Harry can get together this Friday for some coaching of his Blood Death Night. But we'll see how it goes. Beware. Derby Derby, yeah. That's what Harry calls him. Herp Derp, Double Derp. Uh, what have you been playing in League? I've been playing Malphite Support. Me and Harry have been duoing. But it's kind of like there's a couple of things that are like major turnouts for me. One is that it seems like totally set up for failure. Like I get, I lose more than I gain. So I'd have to have like a 60 to 50, 60 to probably 70% win rate to actually climb at all on that game. And the other thing is it's a PVP game. <laughs> it's basically like if you were to pug arena, that's what it feels like. It's like all the worst things about pugging in WoW Mythic Plus, but it's also player versus player. So meanwhile, you, you have a guy on your team who's just totally useless, and on the other team, you have a guy who's like the best player in the game. Pug Arena blindfolded. <laughs> yeah. I also feel like solo shuffles a lot like that. You people can go four wins, two losses, and lose rating. Yeah, that's totally like, I don't know. That's how PvP games are nowadays, but that is totally unfun. You should only need to be like 50.1% to gain rating overall. Win rate wise. Beware. On Friday, me and my friends are getting together to play WoW in a LAN party. Oh, wow. That's old school. I haven't heard of that in a long time. There we go. Going the wrong direction. Scoot acts with somebody. Hope you're doing well. I hope so too. Yeah, I really do. How are you? What are you up to? Heels are the bane of my existence. Oh, really? Like in real life or in game? Both? Oh shit. Apparently eels are like a popular dish in London or something in England. Do you remember to grab the weekly four dungeon quests? No, but it popped up when we did rise. Or fall. Eels and chips, yeah. I've never had that here and I've never even heard of that, so. Any poison to spell, please? Thank you. Yeah. Just working and catching you stream. Well, that's cool. Let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, I can answer them. 
All right, we're gonna have to wait for that. I think we don't want to bolster him right now, anyway. What we need to avoid is just losing. That's gonna happen one or the other. We need to avoid losing cheat death here. He stopped it, or maybe it just stopped itself. All right, this is a much better way to pull this on bolstering here. Three, two, one. Run away, little girl. Run away. Because the problem is, like, those ones are always going to die way quicker because they get pulled faster. So then you have multiple hits from the Watcher that are fully bolstered. Whereas now, if we get to pull them all together. It'll only be a little bit of time that he's bolstered. And if people actually attack the correct target, we'd have even less time, but. Alright. It's gonna hit me hard here in a second. Please help with the spells. Oh, he means the affix, right? As long as we don't lose, lose cheap deaths here, then we'll have the ability to not kill tenant and not kill totems either. Got slapped so hard on Tyran, I can imagine, yeah. Probably needed to pull this for the boss to have any chance to upgrade it, though. See if they'll actually listen this time. Yeah, that was so funny. The Ragnaros, or Azralon Rep Pally, just over there fucking 1v1-ing a totem. That was really funny. You have to dispel it almost instantly because the tick does so much. Yeah, no doubt. It's difficult. I get that. Beware. Didn't realize macros were saved to the account. It's actually saved in a text file too. So yeah, you can just get copy and paste them. Almost the first cheat death, but we survived it. It's kind of crazy that you can live with the totem up. Yeah, blood DK. Pretty, pretty good at this because the AMS helps a lot. And again, two cheat deaths, so. Need to stare at the health bar and make sure we time the good death strikes, and we're good. And the Earth Fury is like, you know, it's like five seconds without any damage taken as well, so that's quite nice. I 
Different weapon back. And unlucky parry wise. I saved so much time though. It's got so much time off the fight. Like, look, it's got two point. Well, that's where it's at now. Probably got like four million health. You have to kill like at least three, maybe four of them. Easy mode. Twenty-six tyrannicals. So if we can do it on that level. We we didn't even have cheat this pop either. If we can do it on that level, then we can probably do it on any level. Certainly, any key that will still end up being in this season. Skipping a pack too, right? Yeah, we have to skip with Shroud though, because we don't have Rogue. Or because we don't have Priest. Timer seems kind of chill. Maybe. As long as we don't fuck up the skip and the last boss goes perfectly, then yeah, maybe. That that just cuts like so much time. That fight was only 2 minutes and 56 seconds now. I am weary. You must carry on without me. I shall take my leave once my strength has returned. What happened with the totem? Nothing. Just leave it up and survive it. Am I doing here? I get so much damage. Yeah, I mean, it's probably harder than for other tanks. I have AMS, so... I can put, like, a massive AMS on myself every minute, pretty much. DK also gives the boss 20% minus attack speed. Oh, yeah, that's a great point, actually. I didn't even thought about that part. Oh, I did not have to run that somehow. It's like a hairy situation. Probably one of the funniest things from the time me and Harry played together was he aggroed uh, the bear and the two casters in DHT were standing next to each other. He just threw out Blood Plague on the bear and then nothing on the casters. And then the casters just like rained down on the targets. And just everybody died because of threat. And then everybody got mad. They had the ump, as they might say. Okay, we need to drop these stacks. All right, that's good. Three, two, one. Last boss is kind of short too, if we do it well. Totem boss is also very chill on warrior. Every part of the damage is blockable. Oh yeah. Even like the magic portion doesn't overwhelm you. Everybody's good. Okay, we did it. That's the cleanest that's ever gone. Prot Warriors are behemoth in a lot of keys. Oh, cool. That's funny. I don't really hear a lot of people saying they're good either. And the stats on whatever sub creation is now is not great for them. Three, two, one. Did you know you could leave Shroud and keep the buff? Is it like. I'll, yeah, I think you have a couple yard wiggle room, right? But I don't think if you like, just don't go, you don't keep the buff, do you? Uh, if the damage is blockable, even if it's not physical, you basically take no damage. Oh, cool. 
thought that was only for sub rogue. Uh, Wow, what does it do for sub rogue? All right, so three and a half minutes here is probably plenty. It's a relatively quick boss, but it needs to be executed perfectly. It's a talent. As soon as you get it, you have the whole duration. They used it for the skips in DHC and MDI. Rogue went down to the bats. Everybody else used invis to walk through the dungeon. Oh, well. Three boss in Waycrest brought me in a 23, not under 90% life with... Tree Boss and Waycrest brought me in a 23, not under 90% health without any reset. What does that mean? I didn't get lower than 90% life on the boss, so okay. Dying a fucking threat here, sweet. What is going on? Why is why can I not get this thing off him? Two reses at least. He's gonna take it and die in the puddle though. Yep. Sweet. So lost a res for nothing pretty much there. Is it better for the group to stack close to each other in this boss? I think so, technically. Yeah, but yeah, there goes the key. Either way, it doesn't look like we had enough time, though. Maybe I'm wrong about the length of this fight. Letting those cats go off too it really sucks. Throne is without question the worst key this season for me. The alien must not have CDs with less. He didn't do as much in the less window. I don't know. Sludges are over there. Yeah. Probably just gonna be a wipe anyway. I'd be able to finish it. Probably not. 26 million. Oh, with the affected as well, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, it's just really bad altogether. Guy takes a res and dies uh, instantly. Oh, he didn't have poison cleansing totem. Oh, 
in that, cool. Uh, the pool should create a neat little triangle close to where the blobs die. That way all the pools can be cleared every time. Get it, Well, that went from going pretty well to not. But yeah, I don't think we had enough time anyway, I guess. I hate when they do this. You're at the last boss. Why not finish? Yeah, it's really annoying. This game is being played in a way that I just don't recognize anymore. Okay, monk. Paladin, shaman, rogue. I think you started the last boss with 3 minutes 30. Would have been tight either way. Yeah, 3... 3.30 was what I expected to have based on the mana and everything. This is all too familiar though. I'm doing a series taking seven healing specs at 3k and I wish I compiled this footage to send to you. Oh yeah. Definitely want to record them all one way or the other. If you had any inclination to do Dungeon Hero run achievements, it might be better to do it before Season 4, since Mythic Zero becomes 10 difficulty. What do you mean? I legit just heard of you, or I would have a fat compilation for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, good. Yeah, either way, even if you don't send them out, like, recording the runs, it's... It'll make you a better player. You'll have more access to figuring out things if anything goes wrong. All right, so I'm pretty sure we need Throne anyway, right? Let's take the weekly score. Uh, Throne 25 needs to be upgraded. It's Wakecrest and Murzon's Rise that we don't have at all, so we should do Mur we should do Wakecrest. There's three more upgrades and a few catch-ups on Tyran, and I finished the season in World 15th Blood DK. That's a good result in my book. Gotcha. All right, so this is Double Drew. We have a guy named Mike. Yeah, what the hell? Ragnaros Resto Drew. Let's see. Sure, this will be a no interrupt, of course. Not even close to having an interrupt. Doesn't have fucking Typhoon either. Part of the wild, but he's balanced. Okay, that's interesting. I see that very often, I guess. Uh, you're 15th now. You haven't finished there. So keep at it. Uh, he could have less. He couldn't have less of an interrupt. Yeah, seriously. He has neither. Neither of the things that would help interrupt. But this is a way crest, so it's not really that big of a deal. At least they have their interrupts, or they're just spells. Remove corruption. That's good. Alright, way crest. We gotta make time for Fire Rack again as well after the, the few runs that are left. Rhubarb, what is that like? A, it's like food or something, isn't it? Crazy that the shaman didn't take poison cleansing. Yeah, that doesn't make it any easier, that's for sure. That guy also failed the lust. We actually would have had enough time if we lusted on CD instead of the way we did. We probably only needed an extra like 30, 40 seconds, something like that. Rhubarb crumble on a cold, rainy day. That's food, right? It's like a root or something. Let's see, rhubarb. 
It's a vegetable. Yeah, it's fleshy edible stalks of species and hybrids of Rheum in the family of Polygonaceae, which are cooked and used for food. My mother loves rhubarb. I can't stand it. Oh shit, why? It looks kind of like kale or shard. I don't know what it tastes like. It's a plant. The leaf is poisonous though. Oh, whoa. That's kind of scary. What the fuck? Why are we eating poisonous shit? I don't know about that. You bathe it in sugar? Oh no. Vegetable? Let's add sugar to it. Got a 27 tot key. I'm scared to do that, lol. Yeah, I can imagine. 27 on fortified or on tyrannicals. Gonna be hard no matter what. The root is fine. The leaf is bad. Hmm. That's interesting. People eat blowfish? That can be super poisonous. Yeah, I heard about that. I don't know why anybody eats that though. I, it doesn't seem, there's like so many fish out there. Why eat that shit? Hey, Gek. <laughs> Sorry, Gek, you're not a bloodlust. They need that. It's a natural deterrent for small critters if you have it in your backyard. Skunks, raccoons, and stuff keep clear of it. Oh, okay. Well, they are wise to do so because it seems like it would be poisonous to them, too, I'd imagine. Uh, from what I understand, in Japan, they have super qualified chefs preparing it and purposely leave some poison on it to give a euphoric sensation when eating it, but not enough to kill anybody. <laughs> what the fuck? Japan is fucking wild, dude. Oh, what, you got the legendary? Nice. Probably won't see it this season at this, at this rate. We'll see, though. If we can keep getting heroic kills, I guess we'll eventually have to get it. Okay, grabbing drink real quick, says the tank. Or says the healer. No, he's not even the healer. 15 kills in Heroic is a guaranteed drop. Yeah, but there's not 15 weeks of the season left. I think I've only killed it on maybe three times on Heroic, so... I think it was my fifth or sixth Heroic kill. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Hopefully I'll get it soon. Because I'm not looking forward to doing it another 10 weeks to guarantee I get it. Definitely looking to be done raiding here. Especially this late in the season, I'm actually shocked that I'm still doing it. But I do want to have it for next season at the end of the day is the big thing. I'm surprised at how big of a damage upgrade it's been. Yeah, it's been buffed like substantially, especially for blood, so... It's a solid upgrade. I, I'm excited to have it, but... I've expected to make much of an impact on my character. Uh, do you have the fire rack trinket? Nope. I don't raid at all, really, so. Other than killing fire rack every week, that's all I got. Binom, what's up? Uh, Metro, what do you think is the best healer for Mythic Plus? Uh, blood blood Death Knight. Thank you. Welcome back to the blood pool. Chandler says it doubled my single target DPS. Gotcha. 
That's a lot. I don't know about that. Metro, what here at Talent Tree excites you more? Honestly, I really like both, but if it comes down to what I expect the visuals and themes to be, I will probably be uh, Val Valnir, what's the name of it? Saint Sandland, Sandland, that's it. That's the one I expect to play. Like if it came out based on my expectations, that's what I'll be playing. But it's very possible that something about one or the other is gonna attract me more. And so if that's the case, then I'll play that one. Horseman looks so good. Yeah, that if that was an option for blood, I would definitely be saying right now I'm playing that one. I absolutely love having, like, that was my favorite Torghast talent, having all of them as pets. I hope Sandland doesn't promote season, Shadowlands Season 3 or 4 degenerate gameplay. Well, I don't think it will ever be that strong, first of all. But second of all, I mean, I yeah, I, you could always just not not do that, you know what I mean? That's the cool thing about this situation, is it's going to have a lot more options, seemingly. I won't ever play a spec where I spam Heart Strike for 90% of my global, so then, even back then I didn't do that. Can't wait to play Horseman of the Apocalypse. Unholy and Frost are going to be the fastest melee now. Oh, that's a good way to look at it. I didn't even think about it that way. I think what we'll do is try to do this. I saw somebody do this the other day. I think this is a good choice. Bring him out and pull him like this, half and half. Beware. Uh, have they said whether you'll be able to freely swap between the two trees? Yes, absolutely. Don't think they'll ever make that mistake again. But regardless, the trees are not like covenants, Beware. obviously. So you'd obviously be able to switch no matter what, just based on the way they're described. Hopefully the uh, the visuals and stuff like set each other apart so they feel like very different. Because like that was the thing I liked the most about Covenants was how visually and thematically different they were. Like a Necrolord and a Night Fae where they could not be more different visually, you know? So I would want to see that return. Fury Warrior is freaking out. He's not strafing enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the happy feet, the melee happy feet thing, huh? That's what made Star Augur so difficult. Hope when you pop Bam Blood, you turn into some kind of vampire. Yeah, I just can't wait to see the actual visuals. That's the number one thing I'm looking forward to. For all specs, like I'm looking forward to it for all specs, not just Death Knight either. Honestly, like I don't expect Death Knight visuals to be anything wild, but I do expect something like Shaman and uh, like Druid. You know, I expect them to have a high flavor in their visuals, and I bet like something like Mage as well. You know, like I'm I'm really excited to see what this looks like on the upper end. That guy just like died and not jumping. As a fucking BM hunter. Mountain. Uh, Mountain then Avatar also has some nice visual potential. Yeah, I don't really expect Warrior to have anything that I'd be interested in, but maybe. What the fuck is even going on right now? The guy says move. He says I couldn't. He says, bro, five stacks. You need to move. He goes, well, I told you I couldn't. Why can't you? Am I the only one that doesn't care about the hero talents? Probably, honestly, yeah. I mean, it's going to be like a major power feature of the next expansion, so you pretty much have to care about it. Windows? 
He's saying like his computer. Uh, there are a lot of passives in the hero towns for sure, but most of them are built around very thematic things which will make or break them. Yep. It's a great extension from the talent system that we have now. I really like it. We're getting another. Oh, yeah, it's because we didn't list up. So. That guy's still mind controlled, even though that boss is no longer active. <laughs> I'll probably choose whatever is best for the content I plan on doing. Well, if it's anything like the goals of Covenants are, they should be something that you end up switching between quite frequently. Well, we'll see how it plays out, I guess. I wonder if they will show on the tooltip if you hover over it what player the hero spec chose. Yeah, definitely. They did that with Covenants. I just raided Heroic with that warrior. Oh yeah, that's he good. He's dead now, he ain't coming up. No more battle reses. got crumbled. <laughs> he was okay, nothing special. Or he's in a bad place in raid. Oh, I was just like a pug or something, I guess, yeah. I would love to see more arms warriors. Everyone is fury. It's so boring. There's no variety. Oh, really? The warriors in a bad place. You can't do any DPS if you're face down. Right. That's a bad place for sure. Third try, best try, as they say. The fuck is that? It's scary. I just saw 28 taught in the tool where the healer had only done a 21. <laughs> Those are the ones you want to sign up to and fucking record. Third try is the charm. Yep. Arms is indeed terrible. That's why people aren't playing it much. Oh, yeah. They're having a meeting at the entrance. Yeah, I don't know why people do this. I mean, we literally wiped the guy not moving. Did 420k in Everbloom with no augers and holy. I was proud of myself. Oh, Everbloom. That's why Crit Cake does 31 to 32 on arms because it's so terrible. Oh, yeah. I couldn't move, you know, when the screen just spins 360. I don't know that, no. Oh, 
What the fuck is he talking about? I actually have had that with the mouse. Tell him to turn it, turn it 360 and then walk away from his PC. Yeah. Pretty sure every other arms warrior played like cricket. Oh, cool. It's a keybind you spin forever, right? It's a bug I'm having since classic where the characters just turn left without any inputs. I've had that too, actually, now that you say that. I didn't realize that's what he meant. Ah, right, whatever, all good. Get that spin in my mouse all the time. Yeah, it happens to me somewhat. Op not, not, I wouldn't say often, but I've, I've seen it before for sure. If a spec can clear 31 keys without a meta comp, it can't be that bad. People are just so eager to reroll instead of actually getting good. That's because they're they're like they feel like they're capped at their skill level. I've heard like even good players say this. We heard this a lot in season two when. People were saying, like, without Ogvoker, they just couldn't push. Uh, every time uh, it happens to be, I feel like I fat fingered a key combo that causes it. Yeah, I actually kind of agree. I feel like I'm, like, smashing my keys and maybe a little bit too much, and it causes some problem with that. Oh, still anyway, Crest. What's the other one? Rise. We also need Rise really bad. Wake Crest and Rise, I need to get done. And then there was one that, yeah, it's Throne that's only 24, right? Throne's only 24. And then otherwise, Fall and DHC are not upgraded. But yeah, we can get those two dungeons actually finished, and that would be a lot of weekly score for us. Unfortunately, we again missed last week. Last week was the one that I missed the first time it came around as well. I didn't get to play much that week. So we have... A uh, pretty incomplete picture of what we actually hope to have here this, uh, at the end of the season, but still, we got a good uh, little bit of a, a taste of what can come with this idea. I, I quite like this idea, this weekly score thing. It's pretty good. This is Waycrest again, right? Probably pretty nice that again today. Let's see the weather. Don't forget to repair. Uh, do we need to? Not really. I guess we can. 
Four and Tyrant in the same week with bolstering. <laughs> Somewhat, I wouldn't say that, but... Yeah, it's 58 out right now. Maybe we'll go for a little walk after the stream. Besides Vengeance, I think they have one of the best balances of Specs and Mythic Plus. Uh, yeah, maybe. I could agree with that, I suppose. Wouldn't necessarily disagree with it, I just... Yeah, I guess I could agree. I mean, it's always good. I think it's always good, to be honest. It's never as bad as people make it sound. People really over-exaggerate the actual theoretical differences. Just because people aren't playing certain things doesn't mean they're actually bad. DPS balance is amazing, yeah. Seems that way, like, raw numerical balance seems very good. Outside Fire Mage, I've never really seen any outliers. The Og patch, God Comp was bad. And see, that's what I'm pretty I, like, I'm saying it, it wasn't. Like, I'm saying, like, most people overemphasize that. Ladies, ensure our visitors are made comfortable. It was just Shadow Priest that was out of whack. Oh, okay, I guess we're going. For the actual DPS, that is, some classes bring way more to your key, though. Yeah, utility is always going to be the defining factor for a lot of this conversation. Please don't suck. <laughs> Maybe we should try to just pull this in here and do this instead. That's too aggressive, I think. Did we even get the mobs? Doesn't look like it. Priest is already going on, yep. Surprise. Guy named Please Don't Suck. This is going to be a very well adjusted human being. Playing Holy Priest. Alright, we won't do it. We'll just finish these and then do the two pulls together. Yeah, like what 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 part are you confused about? Trying to pull trash together. What do you think I'm doing? Three, two, one. Oh, we actually have a Ogvoker or a Devastation Evoker. It's funny. I haven't seen a lot of those recently. Three, two, one. Oh my god, this guy's already a fucking idiot. That pull was sus. Why not go boss with Lust first pull? Go boss, what do you mean? We can barely even got in the room without people dying to threat. I was trying to shorten it all down into one pull, but it, as you see, it didn't really work out. Dev Evoker with the Flame Shaper here at town. It's gonna have mad aggro issues. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're probably already a problem, huh? It's pretty hard to swap between Og, Og and Dev. 20% mastery on Og turns into 90% mastery on Dev. Is that a bad thing, though? That's not your best stat, I guess. These guys are typing a lot. Yeah, it was just a priest. Like I said, anybody whose fucking name is Please Don't Suck is gonna be not a very good invite to a bug. You'd want the stats pretty even as devastation. Oh, really?
It's actually wild, like, how many times we run into this situation where they, the people's names, like, just totally betray their inability to be good human beings. It's like they subconsciously know they're a fucking shit invite and they just display it willingly, hoping that people won't find out. Get the vibe, one mistake, and he will type a shitstorm. Yep. I think there's not even really been a mistake yet. Just some clunky stuff happening, and that's it. Priest will run his mouth all dungeon. Yeah, all five minutes of it. Looks like he's unable to heal this boss, so this is going to be a short one. Had a tank named Key Depleter the other day. <laughs> That's always funny when you have somebody name themselves like that. You Kelly Hill, what's up? A long time to see how you been. Was he maybe asking the evoker to purge to bleed? I think he's asking him to help the spell because there's only two people who could do it in the group. You've been good, that's awesome, man. Glad to hear it. Let's see what he says now after two deaths on the fight. Definitely just finish the fight though, no matter what. Okay, I died to the brambles, but other than that, we won't have any damage on the warrior. Oh, there's another one that quickly? Forget it. Didn't think it was gonna be that quick. Hello, priest. Give them a taste of their own medicine. <laughs> oh, I got double fucking afflicted shit. What's your favorite comp for keys? Blood Death Knight. That's about it. Healer that can do damage and bring a utility. Yeah, five bloody keys. About to get more afflicted. You know something's gone wrong if you see Dire Ritual. <laughs> something's gone wrong. More than something. I used to do those 25 Death Knights or Paladin Raids. That was always fun. Yeah. I actually wish I had a bigger audience because that, that was like the one reason I would want to have a bigger audience so we can do more fun stuff like that. So five minute boss, not great. That's dead. To be honest, this boss might be the hardest. If everyone stays, it can be an upgrade. It's definitely not the hardest boss in here, but it, yeah, it's a tough one to heal, no doubt, so. Still timeable. Oh, he's, he's moving. Surprised the priest hasn't written a novel in chat, yeah. It's one of those that I think, like, if you just ignore the guys, they stop trying to type. And I think that we've successfully ignored the guy enough now that he's feeling like he's wasting his time typing. You do have a big enough audience for that. Problem is they're EU. Well, that's what I mean, like... Yes, there's theoretically enough human beings that we could fill a group like that, but Beware. they'd have to all be around, available, and interested in doing it, <laughs> which is not enough. 
The real problem is a lot of people who are watching are at work and stuff. I play Holy and he's only DPSing 11k should be more. <laughs> Yeah, this guy's named himself something ironic on top of the failure predictor. Beware. I got no legendary yet now. I don't expect to get it at this point and like I'm not sure I'll even get it this season, but we will keep trying, we'll make some time for it today. Hopefully we can get it done today maybe. Comes the Omega Bolster. They try to give DKs more utility. They need to give DKs more utility. Oh no, they have enormous utility. Like you have no idea how valuable Grip is. And of course they have Battle Res. I think maybe in Raid it looks like they don't have a lot, but I think anywhere else they're really stocked up on stuff. Anywhere where Grip can be used and self healing is intangible, they're going to be one of the strongest utility tanks you could ever have. Because don't forget, Grip is also a interrupt, you know? What they need to do is give Gorfian the baseline. That would be my number one pick for changes. I just wish Blinding Sleet was a 30 second CDE. Oh, really? That would be a very big buff to that spec or spell, I don't think. Blinding Sleet's like not even really something tanks should have access to, if you ask me. deaths. 16 deaths ready. GG. Bro free casting. If only you had an interrupt. I mean, Inventions and Prop Pally have tons of CC. That's a way for DK to compete with them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Grip is that. Like, they have that already. It's just not. Like, you know, obviously an AoE silence is going to be way better. If you're giving it to Blood DK, they, then every tank, like, Bear obviously has nothing. Like, they don't have anything. So then they would need to get... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just not going to happen. They also have made a lot more mobs immune to Grip. Yeah, but if they're immune to grip, they're probably immune to silence too now, or I don't know how that works. Alright. That like guy wasn't as hilarious as I thought he was going to be. Somehow struggling with Waycrest though. I mean, I guess it's probably among the worst weeks you get after this dungeon. Don't know what I missed last key, but looking like, but looking priest name, I can guess. Hey, <laughs> what's up, man? Yes, that was a funny, uh, that guy was, 
another one of those players that was upset before the key started. Warrior. We have an actual Devastation Evoker, which is not something you see often. Not a lot of key options right now. That one, pretty much. We could do throw in 25 again, but... Especially if PTR does end up starting, I probably won't. End up getting a lot of keys done this week. No, oh, Ari again, all right. Frequent flyer here. Yeah, Tal's always funny, I feel like, so might as well. I actually get a key. I, I do now have a key, but it's only 24. I've been invited to 26 Everbloom. With another priest healer. Uh, will you keep the cheat death trinket next season, do you think? Even if it's a big eye level drop? It depends, I guess, on what other options I have. Because, like, right now I still have, like, pretty much only two trinkets total. But, yeah, realistically, I'll probably end up keeping this. 
It's just like too comfortable to have it on any type of fort week, you know? Hopefully the, uh, ho hopefully I'll start uh, getting back in the lucky side of things, but I guess with as many as spans as her, it's pretty much impossible to get the gear you want with just, you have to do low keys to get it nowadays. Back in the day, man, with Titan Forging, I feel like I was like the luckiest person on the planet. But that was back before the spanning became such a common thing. Is this Hearthstone thing still going? I, I've gotten all this stuff, I guess, so I just stopped trying. Right, we again have two pallies in a group. <laughs> Two rats are fixed backup. Hope that is okay. As long as one of them gives me freedom on the flowers, that, that is okay. Ended last Friday. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I'm glad I got everything that I wanted at least. That tabard's quite nice. They can burst almost all threes. I assume he means trees in the last boss. The Hearthstone is unique too. Uh, they're, they're all the things that came from that event are like some of the highest like fidelity. Like they're fucking gorgeous. They're all so gorgeous. The Hearthstone that we got from that event is amazing. I know the anime, like the, the toy and the animation of that and the mount. It's like, oh my God, they're all so good. It's actually wild. It's like some of the best looking things in the game. So I don't know if that's some uh, indication of what spells are going to look like next season or something like that. Next expansion or something like that. But wow, it's crazy. I'm not a fan of the mount. Well, I mean, I'm not necessarily a fan of it either. But I'm just talking about like the fidelity of its... Like it is... What's the name of it? Hearthstone, probably something. Compass Rose. Like, look at this. If you guys haven't seen it, it's insane. It'd be easier to show it if it wasn't. Yeah. Well, either way, you get the, the gist. I can kick first, revitalize on boss, but we'll need help with the second. The mount from Forty Renown would plunder even dragon rides. Oh shit! I didn't even realize that. Four oh nine mounts? Is that what I have? I, I'm not really a mount guy. Yeah. Four oh nine. That's the number. Five, four, three, two, they upsize their entire team, expect some amazing animations. Yeah, maybe. Like I said, I'm excited for Hero Talents visually. That's the thing I'm the most excited for. That seems like kind of a lot, is it? No, it's not a lot at all. I have only 181. Well, I've like literally never gone out of my way to collect them out, so... The only thing I might have that your average player might not have is anything that came from a mythic raid from pretty much Legion, or from a uh, Lich King to Legion. Otherwise, I don't have anything special. I have under 100, oh yeah? Well, I, yeah, I don't know. Don't know what the difference would be because I definitely don't go out of my way to click mounts. In-game counts mounts used both on Horde and Alliance. Right, but I don't expect to have many of those either. What's your rating? What, my mount rating? I don't have no idea. Is there a score for that too? You got that bird from mob challenge modes. That's a great one. Yeah, I guess there's three from that. Oh, for Mythic Plus. Uh, yeah, I'm 30, I don't even know at this point. I haven't looked at it for a long time. 3352. Been like months since we've done any actual progression though. And maybe 
maybe not months, but it's been a while. You have 367 mounts, according to Simple Armory, which counts mounts usable on one character. Gotcha. I'll look up Sky Tide then and tell me how many he has, since he said he has very few. I assume everybody uses the in-game thing, unless you're super serious about collecting it. You ever get the legendary? Nope. I actually only have 174 in game. Yeah. Did you get the mythic Jane amount? Yep, that's one of them that I have. Yeah, I guess really Wrath to I don't even think there was mounts back in those days though, was there? But either way. I think Garage was the first boss to drop a mount specifically from killing him on a certain difficulty. Also you got a realm first achievement. Oh yeah, I got realm first cooking. <laughs> How many achievement points do you have? I'm not sure. Yag was the first heroic and mythic mount only. Oh, okay. I guess yeah. What? You only got that from the achievements? Is that? I don't even remember how it works. You have to keep the keepers up, right? Is that right? Yeah, okay. So that's technically heroic. Part of Drake's from Old War Patch. Don't know how to get them though. Yeah, I have all those as well. Like any achievement um, base mounts that we always did as well back in the day. You have you get Mim's head from heroic, right? But it wasn't just heroic. Then you have to like keep the keepers up. There was no heroic back then, right? It was just the achievement type heroic. Twenty nine four eighty. Wow, do you farm that? It's kind of sad that you say that because at one point I cared about it a lot more and me and Sai were trying to get on like a little bit of a race to get to 30,000 and I just literally haven't gained any achievements since then. <laughs> I was in fucking Legion and now I literally still don't have 30,000. Uh, what's the red bar we core right under your character? What, that? That's my blood shield. Do you ever press asphyxiate? You told healer if you only had a kick, but your asphyxiate was up that whole pull. Yeah, I press it a lot. I mean, he was the one complaining, not me, so. Just a little jab at the priests, especially the people playing them as alts. Blood shield is only a physical absorb, yep. That's correct. We will have to run some time. I'm only around 3100. Oh, yeah. Well, this season's pretty much over at this point, but maybe next season. Or yeah, if you have a 
25 that I need or something listed I'm happy to join. Just been kind of piddling around going for the weekly score thing. Which right now I need a... Uh, um, and we need Rise and Waycrest this week. So if you have those, let me know. 25. Hopefully we can get them done, but at this rate, if the PTR does indeed come out, I will probably go on the PTR at least tomorrow. And I don't know. We'll see how the week goes. You're doing Og stuff with Harry? Still up in the air. Pretty much always up in the air with Harry. You never can really make set plans with that guy. But, uh, yeah. As it looks right now, it looks like that might be Friday. So I'm thinking, depending on what happens with the PTR, like let's say no PTR comes for some reason, which I guess that's not going to happen, but regardless, let's just say that happened. I would probably do keys today and tomorrow on live. I might then take Thursday off and then be back Friday with that. Um, but if PTR does come out tomorrow and it's stable, uh, it might still end up being the same plan, but if things go really well on the PTR, usually I have a very bad time on the PTR. It does not go well. But if things go really well, then maybe we'll push for another Thursday. But Harry was supposed to be around Wednesday, but now he's not going to be around Wednesday, so... We'll see. Hopefully Friday he's back. How do you get on the PTR? Uh, you have to, like, sign up for it on the Blizzard website, I think, but other than that, it's... Just download it and log on it like any other game the good thing now is they have all these different games like the file structures are shared so you don't you used to have to have 200 gig downloads on your computer but now you only need like a few crucial files that the live game wouldn't have that's actually something that just came to mind like I would need to install it too so hopefully that's not going to be a pain in the ass Actually, my hard drive is filling up. Do we know when the season will end? No, but a betting man would be six weeks from last Tuesday. Because they've confirmed that the uh, Plex Storm event is only going to last for six weeks. So it's almost surely going to end with the season. They're taking, they're talking months. Who? You mean for the season to end? Nah, it wouldn't be months. One way or the other, it's coming soon, but... Pump smash though, what do you have to man? How's it going? In Wowhead, early summer. Oh, that would be for the expansion launch, it sounds like. Definitely a pre patch would probably be sometime in the summer. Obviously, season four is on its way. Apparently, they're going to begin testing of it today. really suck in here but luckily it's not fortified wanted to drop in and say I plus two my first ever 20 can't stress enough that the reason I felt comfortable enough to start tanking was entirely because of your content I really appreciate you saying that man I never really believe it I never really feel like I did more than you did but I'm glad that you feel that way man if you have any questions or anything else just let me know Let's go ahead and do this. We'll just do these five and then we'll go down and pull the flowers. Hope it's not too long. Literally just grinding weekly rewards. Feels like there's no point doing anything higher than 18. Yeah, I mean, if you don't enjoy like hard keys, then probably best to just take some time off. I mean, the weekly reward thing, like, surely you're done gearing up, right? 
It's a good time. Nowadays is a good time to get some stuff done that you wouldn't normally think about doing, like the achievements, like we were talking about getting mounts, getting something that's not progression, you know what I mean? Something that you might like, but not necessarily have a lot of time for outside of the lols and content. The ends of expansions were always the time when I just put like way more time into getting transmog or achievements or something like that. Leveling an Og Voker. Honestly, Devastation Voker is like one of the most fun things I've ever leveled. I really, really, really wish it didn't start at high level. And I guess it's not going to now, next expansion, right? Because I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like from the ground up. I think it could be one of the most fun leveling specs in the game. Territory. That's a little scary. I kind of fucked that up. I thought I had Death Strike and I was trying to press it, but I didn't actually have enough room power. Hopefully we won't aggro the Pat. Okay, he mind soothes it. That's nice. Good, so we can kill these first and then solo the those packs together. Nope, dead still. The new hero talents for dev look really cool. Oh yeah, I haven't actually looked at Agvoker stuff at all. Full wipe to that, that's really unfortunate. We're hitting this really hard, so I think we're all right. Now we can probably pull them all. Who's not here? Honor. That wiped probably the end of the timer, I bet, but we'll see. It's been a relatively clean run other than that. Do not have any type of cheat deaths for this though. This is usually very dangerous. What happened there? Just died to bolstering pretty much. It's actually shocking that that was the first time I was in any true danger. I'm not actually sure where I lost the cheat death trinket though. I, I lost purgatory by miscalculating how much runic power I actually had. I thought I was going into the pack with a death strike and I didn't have it so I ended up dying to that. And then... It was uh, obviously all downhill from there after not having any cheat deaths for the battle for the bolster time. I hate this boss. Oh, really? Definitely don't mind the boss. It's hard to heal though, I bet. Looks like it's already happening. Should I run this guy around in circles or should I keep him close to their boss? What do you think? I 
I always tank him away. Yeah, I, I might try tanking him in a different boss's area and see how it goes. Take him to the third boss to save some time. Yeah, we could save like five or six seconds to do that, right? It's a good tip. Do you like the guy in your video? I'm pulling him up the hill. Yeah, that's that's what I was going for there. Really, such a bad dungeon to have bad interrupts in. Takes a little longer, but it's safer, and half the time DPS seem to not bother running anyway. So at least I don't get screwed. Oh, you're serious? With them? Yeah, no, definitely stack them up. Takes a lot longer. This boss has a lot of health. As you see, we're already two minutes into the fight. Not even halfway done with it. I think people like run too far as well. Like you really only have to clear the circle. The circle that drops on the ground is smaller than the actual circle on your character as well, it looks like. Don't worry if you reset the boss, no one will care. Yeah, it, one person would care, but like everybody will calm down immediately after. Are you mitigating the charges with blood shields? Uh, I don't think it's any physical damage now. I just death strike as soon as I get hit and we're good. Yeah, it's pure nature it looks like. I could AMS them though. Probably do that every time. Battle Rays is coming up. We probably should use it here, even though it's going to really fuck us later. Probably just no way to upgrade this, though, from here, one way or the other. I definitely think having to move every 10 seconds kills DPS, and that's why it feels so sluggish. Right, I mean, it's not ideal, but... Certainly faster to <laughs> have them stack for seven seconds at a time. Pally is constantly repositioning Consecration here and rotating the CD mitigations, and he's getting chunked by that charge. Yeah, it's pure magic, so. A little bit harder for other tanks to deal with, I suppose. Pally's bubble, I suppose, but that might be risky. Yeah, to be honest, this one guy died though.
Bolstering Beware. this mob is very deadly. I've gotten all my else to 2.5k besides my warrior, and it's hard because no one takes warriors. 2.5. You can just do your own key up to that score, probably, right? Well, what key level is that? Like, not e is that even 20s or? I hate this dungeon the most this season. Boss HP feels so much higher in here than other dungeons, even on fortified. Yeah, it's the last boss is really long. No, it's only 16 to 18 as well. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely just do your own key there then. My main's a warrior. Never struggle to get invites as a tank. Yeah, you could always tank too, I guess. On the bright side, it looks like we'll finish it. Surely nobody expects that we can still upgrade at this point, right? They're pretty much invincible. I've seen Warrior, yeah, I've heard a lot of people talk about it, saying they're very defensively powerful. Beware. What has them being such, like, reflected Beware. negatively on the stats, though, nowadays? Because they're, the, they're still six, six best tank, right? Last time I tanked was last season. Oh, there you go. Somewhat recently then. I hit my season goal a few weeks ago. Now I've been playing Sod in the meantime. Oh, cool. Beware. Yeah, and then I guess next week is the new Sod week or whatever. I feel like I play so poorly when I'm playing DPS. When I'm tanking, I just feel so locked in and I'm aware of a lot more. Maybe it's because I put a lot more pressure on myself. Maybe. Everything's more important, you know? They have pretty weak crowd control, so other than aggro and unlimited health, they don't have any value. That's true. They're probably the worst in terms of utility. That's always been a big issue for them. I forgot all about that. That's how I feel about tanking. I main healer, so it's just different. Oh, okay. Even on Triangle, people still aren't surviving the trash. My main healer and my main alt tank is, I always feel like I gotta be locked in. Oh yeah. Beware, beware. Shockwave and Stormbolt being the pinnacle of warrior utility feels so bad. Yeah, no doubt. Rallying cry maybe is the answer, but yeah, either way. What you think about the tournament? Yeah, NCAA, it's been amazing. Not any crazy upsets, but um, I I really really enjoyed watching that Kentucky game. Jack Golke is like probably my favorite basketball player. Been a lot of really good games. There's been a lot of blowouts too, though, to be honest. Texas A&M buzzer beater to force overtime only to lose a... I didn't get to see that. That's the, that's the Houston game? I didn't actually get to see that. They're on too late, man. I'm too tired. Thursday, I watched every single game. 
and there's like 12 plus hours of basketball. I was so, like, I, I was a little bit too much. I shouldn't have did that. Yeah, started at, those games are like starting at like 9.30, 10 o'clock, something. It's gonna be the same thing on Thursday now, where Duke plays at 9.30. It's gonna be really hard for me to stay awake and stay active, but. dead anyway I'm a Bama fan gotta give it the best shot against UNC oh is that who Alabama's playing UNC I'm definitely uh, rooting for them yeah still salty my ducks got to double overtime only to get slapped by Creighton yeah I was definitely rooting for Oregon to win that one as well you guys are like talking about this key like they had no idea this was gonna be difficult I don't understand what have you never done this boss before? Beware, beware. Funny to watch a healer do less than 100k HPS. Oops. And talk about how the group as a whole isn't capable of doing the last. I was, I was gonna say that. I was like, why? You don't think you could heal it? Like that was gonna be my response if that got set again. Beware. Looking bleak for Talnu. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, Dick's Priest just sucks, man. I really wish if we can just like not play with any priests. It would the season would have gone so much better. I get the damage to heal has been a core component of healing, but I'm tired of that style. Outside of Shaman and Druid, it feels like you're forced to DPS as a healer now. I mean, you're pretty much forced on every healer, but people still don't do it, so. Looking a little light on DPS. Yeah, I wonder if it's because this guy did 600,000 damage to the fight. Uh, the, the, what did you, did you not? I don't understand this. <laughs> like what? Did you not expect this fight to be hard? I don't understand. Yelling is just tough in general. Hardest role in the game, IMO. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough it, if you depend on like mechanical, like if we're talking about like the hardest thing to actually do mechanically, then yeah, I guess I would agree. Healing is definitely harder than tanking this season, especially. But there's so much stress on the tank nowadays. It's even if me like if it was just me in a vacuum yeah tanking would be way easier than healing but sadly the the groups put so much pressure on the tank anymore meanwhile this guy's doing fucking 80 k hps and nobody's saying a word to him it's so tough people are doing healerless keys <laughs> yeah i don't know how to be honest He didn't die to that. Healing is a joke. They're the only role with a victim complex. They don't believe they should have to press anything. Yeah, especially through Shadowlands. That was my experience with healers as well. I was like, 
having to work even remotely harder than they expected to uh, was always a problem. Meanwhile, like, as the tank, your job is literally to work as hard as humanly possible to make the dungeon go faster. But healers want you to make them work as least as possible, basically. Five prop warrior squad for the win. <laughs> I do want to try the, the five tank thing again. It gets brought up a lot. I just, like, don't feel like there would be people interested in doing it. And I guess the other problem for me is like as the blood decay, I know I'd be pretty much useless. Maybe season four once I have the legendary. You tank this boss in any particular way to in terms of placement. No, I don't really move her at all. As a healer, I try to make it easy on the rest, especially playing Shaman. I can interrupt so much with Winshear. Yeah, Resto Shaman is definitely a, a lot more capable in a puck setting with all the utility they have. I kind of want to do one more key. Bloom. A couple of disbands in a row there. Let's do one more and then we'll try to do a fire rack. Those disbands hurt to see. Oh, that's nothing. That is nothing. You should go back in season two and then look at that. Alright, 25 rise. That's the one we not. the number one key we want right now. I got 23 taught disbanded because Pally's shield was broken after four wipes, 15 minutes into the key, and no one said anything toxic or even wished good luck on Vault, and even wished good luck on Vault. Am I even playing WoW right now? That's funny, right? Yeah. Things are just kind of falling. Like, reality is just starting to crumble and pugging this late in the season. What did the priest type about cooldowns before he left? I have absolutely no idea. He was saying things that I don't understand at all. He said couldn't ramp since non-PS charges. And then later again he says, as I said, non-CDs. It's like, what? I assume there's some typos there or something. I have no idea what he's saying. Well, I guess we're not getting invited to the rise, so we'll just do the way Chris instead. Is he trying to raid ramp in a key? I mean, considering the dude literally did less than 100k HPS on those two pulls, I, I don't know if he's trying to do anything. Surely that's like a two to 250 to 300k HPS segment of the fight, right? I don't know though. All right, wait, Chris, it is. Hearth there, report there, and that'll be it. I only do keys I know I can carry, so even if the team disbands, I can pretty much complete it anyway. <laughs> what the hell? What level would that be? Hi, what's up, buddy? Welcome. You don't like disc and keys, but I grow to like them as a good combo with blood. They can talent into much passive DR. They they can, and they never use it. Sometime, if you're bored, go through a disc priest key and see how many times you use power word barrier and uh, pain suppression. Then then see how many times you use them on me. I swear I don't ever get pain suppression. And power word barrier almost like never gets used, period, let alone on me. I ironically, like in the past, they were like probably the second or third best healer alongside Blood DK. But now whenever they're meta, they just look like garbage because nobody plays them the way that you'd expect them to be played. Do 
They have a talent that gives 5% physical DR and another that gives 3% for all DR. Yeah, no, I know about them. Just sadly, they gotta use the things. Strat talking wow chat, watch out. <laughs> I don't know, you can heal the first firestorm just with power word radiance and penance. He had to be legit AFK to let people die. Oh yeah. Well either way, he didn't seem to be up to the challenge there. Uh, good thing the rep pally is meta. It's pretty good to fill the holes that blood is missing. Oh yeah, rep pally. I got a good feeling about this one. Hopefully, we could Five, not disband on the first four, boss again, but maybe. Three, two, one. This will be the last key for the day, though, and then we're going to try to do fire act. It appears we have uninvited guests. Then we'll be back one way or the other tomorrow, probably with PTR, provided it is indeed up and stable. If not, then it'll just be more live keys, and then we'll talk about what happens for the rest of the week. Close the door. Sorry, guys. Beware. Glad you showed me, Harry. He's hilarious. Yeah, dude. He's honestly one of the funniest people I've ever seen. Like I would rate. Like I would rather watch Harry play a video game than watch like stand-up comedy. So much natural humor. But he can also be a frustrating person because he's just got like zero control over his life, it seems. Don't ever try to have any expectation of Harry and you'll you'll enjoy him. Beware. Like last week, on Thursday, he was supposed to go to the doctors. He just like randomly canceled it. He's like, I don't feel like going. And so now he's rescheduled it for this Wednesday when we were supposed to get together for recording. <laughs> it's like, you're weird. Fight's going better than the last times. Ah, I keep missing that interrupt, man. That's bad. I always like have trouble committing to attacking the correct target and still interrupting.
Hey, Jay, would somebody welcome? Just got back from Vegas, so oh, shit. Go see the NCAA tournament. Lost all my money, but have fun. Oh, okay, so no. <laughs> oh, cool, man. Oh, you did go for March Madness. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. Did nothing again. Beware. What games were in Vegas? What games did you get to see? Any of your teams left in the tournament? Oh, absolutely. Duke's my team, and they're still going. They're playing Houston, Beware. who is not playing well at all right now. So I think they have a very good shot at winning that game. And then if they get by Houston, it's the true end game matchup against North Carolina State again. The dude's name is dog shit, yeah. Alright, this next part. I don't like is it possible maybe to uh, you know what I bet what we can do is this. Gotta get these out. Death for those bad pulls there. But... Oh, we got a thorn shaper too. All right, well that's really bad. Yeah, right, we're gonna wipe here. I actually only got one of them. All right, it might not be the end of the world. Watch the Texas A&M and Houston game though. Which was awesome. Nice. I watched a bunch. We were moving around a lot since it was my first time and people were showing me around. Oh, cool. It's actually going really well. I highly doubt the PTR will launch today. Why? Still end up having issues with the interrupts. Three, two, Even though they aren't bolstered. Kicks are a parse loss. Lol, didn't you know? <laughs> Not when you died at them. I just looked in the rest of Shaman Talent Free. They have nine choice nodes. Meanwhile, Buddy has two. Where one is even a real choice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's certainly not balanced in that way, unfortunately. I looked at I wanted to make a video on this way back in the day, but I just kind of forgot, I think. But 
I wanted to make a video comparing how many actual talent points each tank spec had. Because it's like wildly different. Like, I think it's Prot Warrior that has like 10 more than Death Knight or something like that. PK has basically one point per tree that is something flexible. I mean, I have very different talents than what most people play, and I'm not really having any issues, but yeah. Not having to interrupt the season is such a massive difference. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's a really unfortunate thing to have a pre-sealer right now. I really hate to say it, but... Might as well make Bloodshot and Umbilicus choice nodes at this rate. <laughs> it's basically the choice, yeah. I'm out of water. All right, boss. Hey, someone know when the PTR is coming live? Nope, only Blizzard would know that. It's supposed to be today, but I guess we'll find out. Priest healers have kicked though, no? They do not know. They're the only class in the game that doesn't have access to a kick on two specs. Legion weapon, uh, there was a similar talent to Bloodshot, but it also gave 25% leech, which would make it more interesting. Was there? I don't remember that. What was it called? Wait, you're thinking of... That's not Bloodshot at all. You're thinking of uh, the actual Legion ability. The artifact ability. Makes sense, IMO. Already they have too much utility. Well, in season two, I would have agreed with you. But after all, the major utility got nerfed. Now they're kind of in a weird state. Weird, yeah, that's really bad then. They should change that, yeah. Very bad. Alright, that's the last time we'll clear. Shadow gets a kick, but you have to spend, spend into it, and it's 45 seconds. Yeah, no doubt. It's. A, I mean, everybody has to put talent points into it, really. And there's, there's only Shaman that doesn't have to, right? Legion weapon in general has some nice talents that could fit in the current blood. I don't even. I, I mean, I feel like it had like umbilicus. I know that. Well, the the thing that gave dancing rune weapon extra like charges. That's in the game now. What else is there? Two is clearly too much. I should never. I I never know how often to burn this guy. Yeah, I don't know. It does feel like you should just do it every time, honestly, but. 
As a tank, you can also just do this. Hopefully, we'll be right here with Punchy definitely. We don't have any more battle resists, so we're pretty much going to have to be. That's why I like Shaman Healer. It's so nice to have the best kick and AoE stuns. Yeah. Shaman Healer is a fucking amazing pug pick because of all that. Put on Shadow Priestess in the spec tree and not the class tree. It's costly. Oh, okay. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Do you have a chance based on crit for bone shield to get more armor? Oh, yeah. That one I don't remember. Very nice. It's not a lot of trash to do, though. Not only not as good during raging weeks without soothe. You burn this guy when you can't survive the damage, otherwise you're trolling the healer with AoE damage. No, because doesn't it make the fire like the longer the stacks go, the more damage the fire does, or no? I still don't fully know that to be honest, but I've been told that, so I don't know if it's true or not. There's a cool PvP talent right now where you can give AMS to other people. Oh, cool. PvP talents are awesome, but yeah, I don't think they'll ever bring too many of them. We got everything right. This guy probably needs a drink. Stacks increase the damage the tank takes. Resetting them does big group-wide damage. And the more stacks that get reset, the more damage that group-wide damage is. Is that not correct? That's what I've been told, but I can't prove it. I thought we missed the pat somewhere. You can also merge three or four talent nodes in the blood tree for free up space for more interesting talents. So, well, either way, Blizzard has to want to do it. I I can't run out for this. I need this. Stay in here, otherwise he's gonna melee everybody. I'm just gonna wipe here though. And maybe not. Nope. Consume servant. I guess it's not gonna kill us though. Our power has a talent that gives 10% parry by itself. Feels a bit unfair. Yeah, it is weird how some of those passive talents seem like super unbalanced compared to the different talent, different uh, the different classes. It'll be hard to kill these. Yeah, no, it's not gonna happen. That ad that was a really big mistake, honestly. I knew I missed it, but I just didn't know where it was, so I didn't see it.
Now that that ad said it should be a lot easier to kill the boss, but we probably don't have time for it either way. I think Burning Rush does not scale with stacks, but I don't know actually. Yeah, it's hard to... <laughs> I've heard a lot of people say one way or the other, and it's never it's impossible to prove without any actual logs. So. I can feel that Blizzard is having a hard time with balancing blood, not making them OP, while keeping their current spec identity. Would you say they're having a hard time? Why? I think they're in a great place. I think they're in the best place they've ever been in, honestly. The identity is, is totally secure, and they're still very powerful, so that's really nice. Hey, Lycos, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? They are, but buffing their defenses without reducing self healing would make them too strong. Right, they don't they don't need to. They're, they're in a very powerful state, so. In terms of defense, they are as good as they can possibly be, I think. The only big inequality right now is the potential gap in utility, but I do think that gets lessened when we don't have seasons with like packs of hundreds of casters and whole dungeons. I don't I I don't know, people were debating whether or not Season 1 is going to be like that too. I don't really feel like there was a lot of holes in Season 1 mob dungeons that were like that. And I know for sure Season 2 didn't really have any, so... Doing good? Seems I'm a bit late to the stream. Oh, yeah. Yes, we're done with Mythic Plus after this key one way or the other. Then it's time to do some raid hugging. Hopefully we can get our heroic kill, and if not, we'll have to settle for something lower, but definitely need to do it today, because this may be the last time we play live WoW for the week. See what happens with the PTR. I think caster mods and Dragonfly are also programmed to have a CD on their spell usage that is shared when you have multiple of them in a pack. Oh, really? It's not something I've noticed, but maybe. You're gonna test the new hero talents. Uh, no, it'd be PTR for season four of Dragonfly. Not a not Shadowlands yet, or not a War Within yet, but hopefully sometime soon the alpha comes out. I guess like it, based on whatever we were saying before, it might be like next week or something. But I'll be very unlikely to get in the first wave, unfortunately, so. Maybe, but it's only ever happened once, actually twice, it happened in WAD, but there was nothing to actually test, so it was irrelevant. You ever use consumption? Nah, it's terrible. As you said, it's the worst death strike. Doesn't scale at all based on damage taken, so it'll never be any good. And its offense is apparently insanely bad, like it's such a bad global.
All right. Holster again. A uh, funny thing with Deathbringer and War Within, there should be a place for you where you want to use Bone Storm for single target. Oh, really? Well, it's because it's running power base spend. Is that how it works? Like, the more you spend, the more it does or something? I don't remember that. I don't remember seeing that synergy. turned into a Shadow Frost ability, which gives double stacks. At least 20 by itself. More of the ticks are critting. It's just based on running power spent, though, or what? How's it, like, why does it change? Sad part about the War Within is that Valjackin is going to be empty as hell. <laughs> oh, that'd be a new city to hang out in. That's always the case with every city. Uh, Draken is a very good city, though. I will miss it, but I really don't think... Uh, I think Zoldazar is the best one they've ever done. So I miss that one more. There's one talent that turns all spenders into Shadow Frost. Gotcha. Kick that, yep. Three, two, one. All right, have you tried the plunder storm mode? Yes, I streamed it when it came out. Not for me, but it's some very engaging, interesting stuff going on there with the pure skill shot based stuff. I'd love to see more like that in WoW. Two, one. 
guy still thinks we're upgrading this, that's funny. Three, two, one. Husband, please attend to our guests. Three, two, one. Beware. Oh, that guy's actually armed too. A mortal strike on this, yeah, it helps a lot. You see it only goes to 80 instead of 100 every time it heals. That's so cool. That is a very powerful element. If your DPS don't die, you might have a chance. <laughs> no shot. He only had five some minutes when we pulled this boss. There's no shot. Still only, we're not even in the final phase yet. It was two minutes into the fight already. I just opened my vault on Paladin and I got Prophetic Stone Scale. Oh, nice. That's a good thing to get out of the vault now because very likely you'll be using it next season anyway. So a little bit of extra item level on it will help it. Where do you stand on the five second death penalty to the timer and MDI? When they first introduced uh, Mythic Plus, I was hugely in favor of it because in WAD challenge modes, it was incredibly common to do death skips. Like, very, very, like, you would death skip everything, like, every single thing. And it also reset Bloodlust. All these years later, I don't really care, but I do think it's, like, kind of antiquated. Like, it's not really something that needs to be in the game anymore. And I don't know, like, I don't really know why it's in the game, other than it's been in the game kind of thing. Kind of just like Keystone's downgrading, like... These ideas were good responses, but... Uh, you know, they're not really needed anymore. Mortals, you lack foresight. Death cannot be stopped. But just removing them doesn't seem like something Blizzard would do anyway, so... I didn't know about the Bloodlust reset. Yeah. Just like in a raid, you know? Where if you die, Bloodlust goes away. So people would basically reset to have Bloodlust on every single boss. Or any hard trash. And then they would route those deaths into the route. Like, you know, it'd be part of the route to die at certain times and skip certain things. So the, probably the most potent one ever. Well, this wasn't actually a death skip, but something that was uniquely interesting back in the day was in Scarlet Monastery or whatever it was, one of the two Scarlet Dungeons, there was these archers that you needed to kill in order to advance the, um, like the segment of the dungeon basically. But they didn't actually, like they spawned a, a named guy that you had to kill afterwards. And if you didn't kill the named guy, it would all reset. And they gave count. 
So one of the most common ways to do that dungeon, well, the most common way to do that dungeon, was to just reset him over and over and over and over again and kill those archers for like 40% of the dungeon's count and then skip the rest of the dungeon. That wasn't actually accomplished with the death skip, but it was still a unique element of this conversation. But yeah, the most common one was in WAD challenge modes when uh, you would do um, Blood Moss Slag Mines. It had uh, plenty of ways that you can die ambiently. Like at each boss, you could either like jump off the platform. There was like a fire pit on the one boss, all that shit. So you'd be able to basically die on every single boss. And on top of that, the respawn was at the beginning of the dungeon, which was in the halfway point between the two bosses. So you would go do the fire elemental boss, die in the pit. It would spawn you in the beginning of the dungeon. So you would have like a time save there and it would reset lust. You know what I mean? And it's like stuff like that was really creative, but I don't think like then when they came out with the plus, I don't think Blizzard wants like their eSport to look like, oh, look at how many people are just killing each other over and over again. You know what I mean? Like they didn't want it to be like, look, the best way to do this is to die 50 times. So they removed all that. But now obviously like timers and stuff are balanced like so much differently than they used to be that it's like to the point where deaths are already way punishing. Like if we had all of the time back from those deaths, we probably would have upgraded the key, I feel like, right? Maybe not, but it would have been a little like way, way, way closer. You lost a lot of time due to missing DPS. Well, obviously we wiped. <laughs> we wiped to a boss on Tyrannical. The fact that we even had a shot at upgrading this really tells you how loose timers are. Because back in the day, I would have never, like if you wipe to a boss on Tyrannical, that's it. Like that's 100% it. But not this season. Run back is usually way worse than the penalty. Right, yeah, exactly. So the penalty seems superfluous salt in the wound as it were all right at least we got this done we got a little bit of weekly score we got a lot of bit of weekly score because this is 26 as well so good if that is the last key we do on live wow this week then uh, i'm satisfied that we got that one done See, look at that guy actually learned something from finishing the dungeon. See, there is nothing a strong arm and a sharp steel can't fix. Thank you, heroes. Uh, at some places, the run back is like a minute or two. Yep. Alright, rest of Shaman. Paladin, Hunter, Warrior. And then that is it for keys for the day, guys. But I am going to try to get into a fire rack group real quick. Ah. Hopefully we can get a heroic, but... <clears throat> Uh, so refreshing seeing them ask if to span and then keep going when you said continue. <laughs> to be fair, I think I kind of tricked them into staying, but uh, like I think that warrior was genuinely did not know how long the fights were. <laughs> like they were talking about, oh, skip Firak. Does that mean we have to do like four bosses or something like that? Uh, I don't have time for that. Um. Yeah, they were talking about like doing trash with the boss when there was like six minutes left in the dungeon. It's like, bro, we're not upgrading this. 
There's no shot. There's nothing we can do to upgrade this. Alright, so yeah, not a single dungeon listed that needs a tank. So we'll have to do all far, unfortunately. What we could do is while we're in the LFR queue, we can keep looking. I didn't realize you could actually do that. Yeah, you can keep looking. And if we get invited somehow in between, then we'll be able to do that instead. I've been realizing that I've only used the real bad healer rune for my weapon. All week in Mythic Plus had the same icon as the mastery one. Oh, yeah. What is that one? It heals you a little bit or something? Yeah, none being posted, it looks like. And I guess we can sign up to some that aren't actually... Is that guy saying they have to do all those bosses? I don't understand. Oh, wait, was that? There was one that... Did it get delisted? What happened? Ah, fire rack. Oh, we've been invited. Okay, cool. Alright, we're in. We get kicked out of LFRQ, but that's good. Still don't understand how there's so many people with just fire rack up, but we'll take it. And if anybody wants to sign up, help us out. That'd be really nice of you. But yeah, hopefully it'll be a nice, quick... Clear. This guy says we were in the same normal group just now. This guy's doing normal, then heroic. What's the point? You looking for Rage Heart? I mean, I would not not take it, but... Right now, I'm looking for the Legendary. That guy did normal by accident. That's funny. What the fuck? <laughs> 15 hero kills is a guarantee. Yeah, technically. Oh, we ain't nowhere near that. 
I mean, I think I probably have 15 weeks, but most of them were LFR and just a couple normal and then a couple heroic. So, all right, I'm gonna run the bathroom while this fills up. Be right back. All right, I'm back. So yeah, we're gonna get this done. Hopefully, get the legendary, maybe. But we'll see. Got to kill the boss first. We have had a few fails as well over the times of being in heroic groups. Good luck, I believe. Thanks. Although, you guys have said that every week I've done it. <laughs> I also believe, but I do not believe it's going to happen today. Did the stream start at 11 or 12? 11.30. So like I said, depending on if there is a PTR tomorrow, if there is PTR, we'll just go on there instead probably. But if not, we'll do more live keys and then we'll figure out what we're doing. I'm thinking about not streaming Thursday. We'll see. Still have a lot of videos to make anyway, but we'll see. If it seems like there's a good reason to do more PTR, then we may do that still. Maybe the season four acts will be a better drop rate. Well, hopefully it won't change. Like hopefully it's not gonna reset on me somehow. Cause that would be disastrous. It's supposed to be 72 here in Easter in Northern Virginia. Oh, really? I didn't actually look at the weekend's weather. Uh, Sunday here 55, so not that great. It was quite nice yesterday, although the place I went to golf, it wasn't as nice there as it was here. All 
Uh, do you prefer golfing in hot weather? Oh, God, yeah. Everything about golf is better in the hot weather. Like, it, if it was 100 degrees, that would be that would be perfect. One, it makes the ball fly farther through the air, like, just because of physics. Like, it's just better for the ball to be in hot air than it is in cold air. Two, it's way easier for me to loosen up and stay loosened up. Like, yesterday, it took me, like, pretty much the whole round to feel f finally comfortable like I was taking a full swing and then three and most importantly the grass is like way firmer I guess is probably the way to put it so the ball will roll for miles like you know, it's way way easier to get carry and 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 roll whereas yesterday I hit my driver and I just plug in the fairway you know so it's pretty much like literally I hit the shots and they would just stop wherever they are So golf is just straight up better. Probably gets busier in the heat though. I mean, when it's like, if you're talking about golfing in the 40s versus golfing in the 80s, yeah, obviously more people are gonna golf in the 80s. But I'm talking about like heat, like 90 plus, then nobody golfs, like everybody hates it. I'm the only one who likes it. But like I said, I would golf, you know, the hotter the better. Yeah, like late August. Late August. Last two weeks of August around here, we always get to like 80 to 90. There's a video on Ace Game still that it was 97 that day, and that was my best round I've ever had. So obviously a little bit of a low sample size, but... Wait, who just left it? Oh. I thought somebody left and I got leader, but I guess I just got assist. Always the hard part is finding healers for this for some reason. Yeah, uh, we'll find some healers though. I'm not really trying to spend too long in here, but I am obviously trying to get the legendary, so we'll have to do it. You want to travel to the holy grail of golfing in the future? No, I can't afford. I can barely afford to golf here. I have no idea how much it would cost to play St. Andrews, including flight and travel and everything, but. My uncle talked about potentially getting like going to Pebble Beach and we looked into it and it was it's like $650 just to play. I can't that's that's totally out of the question. Golfing yesterday is $42 and I'm like, "Oh god, that's that's a lot." <laughs> that's a lot for March. Normally I I want to golf more, but I got to golf more and uh, I got to walk more so I save money. Golf is an expensive sport. It's expensive because of how much, like, shit, like, like, I lost, like, five golf balls yesterday, you know what I mean? Like, that's money gone. And then, obviously, you have to pay to play, and you can only play a certain amount. Like, it's not like, like, if you went to basketball, if I went to play basketball indoors, you just pay to get in, and you're good, you know? You can be in there for fucking 12 hours if you want. But then obviously most people will look at golf as being expensive because a lot of places are famously like paywalled. Like you have to pay just to be able to even pay them a second time. You know what I mean? There's memberships that you have to pay for just to be able to golf there ever. Luckily plenty of public golf courses around here, but how much does a name brand golf site go for nowadays? I mean, if you if you want like a full set for like good golfers, it's gonna be probably 
four thousand dollars probably well maybe maybe like three thousand because the driver is going to be like five to six hundred dollars the full iron set is going to be usually at least one thousand five hundred so we're already at two thousand there and then of course you know you have your wedges and your putter so depending on how much you want to spend on those it probably like 2500 maybe is the low end if you want a full set of 14 clubs that are actually good like you know they're for good players kind of thing like for serious players but if you're new to golf there's so many like like you can just get like a five club set for probably like 200 dollars maybe beginners clubs one set that I had looked at a long time ago I was trying to get for my dad before he passed was the Callaway Edge. It's like a very, very good set. It's like good Callaway golf clubs, but it's for beginners. Which is like no company makes this. So yeah, here we are here. Callaway Edge 2021 set for only $545 for... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten clubs. <laughs> That's insane. Like, what the fuck? That's more than... I, I only have ten clubs. I only play with ten clubs. So, yeah, that's right there. If you're new and you're, like, you, you know you want to take golf serious, but you don't have a lot of money to buy a full set and you're not sure what you need, try to buy this set. Because it's got a three wood, which you don't even really need, but... It's got a three wood, a driver, a hybrid, and then a full set of irons, which is very rare. Even has a sand wedge and a pitching wedge built into that. If you're short like me, buy women's clubs. They're usually cheaper. Ooh, yeah, but then you're gonna get really whippy shafts. No, I don't know what women's sets come with nowadays, but. I think learning to play golf with less clubs is a good thing to do. You learn to do more with each club. Yeah, that's why I never bought the clubs I never found. When I bought my set, I bought everything used. Um, so I spent like way less than that. My driver was only like, I think it was like 310. And each club was like about $100 or less. So um, yeah, and then I obviously bought the fucking $500 putter. But other than that, the whole set is way less than what I said, probably like under 2000 for sure. Um, but yeah, I still need a, I still don't have a pitching wedge. I really do need a pitching wedge like badly, but I, I'm not going to get one at this point just because I can't find one used and I don't have any more of the grips. So I need to buy grips for it too. And I don't know how to put my own grips on yet. Um, but yeah, other than that, you can go like get used clubs too. And they're pretty cheap. My dad paid 5k for a full custom fitted set two months ago. Hey, what's up, man? Screw Kentucky. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting to talk to you all day, man. Screw Kentucky, but... Jack Golke. Might be my favorite basketball player of the year. I think he, I'm going to say he is my favorite basketball player of the year. I really, really wish I found out about him sooner. I would have loved to watch their conference games. He reminded me of Jimmy Verdette. He had like the same st style of shooting, although he was way wilder. Like this dude would literally like not even plant. He would literally catch the ball and he'd be like moving sideways and shooting. It's like, what the fuck? This is crazy, dude. 10 threes, like, I don't know, man. That was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. That game was a travesty. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure as a Kentucky fan it was, but honestly, that's probably the best game of the tournament in my eyes, so. And, and the thing that, I, I said this in the Discord, but I guess you didn't, probably didn't see it, but like, travesty, yeah. But dude, Kentucky played good enough to win that game. They just, the dude had 10 threes. Like, what, I mean, what do you do when some guy's got 30 points on his own? Like, he's got 30 points just in the three-point line. Like, you can't really, you can't, you can't win that game, you know what I mean? I'm sure the sentiment in the locker room was that like we didn't defend him well enough, but like the dude was insane. He was just all over the place. You can't even really blame the defense. There's not much you can do. Yeah. No. And then you look at the next game. Yeah, I think he only had four threes or something like that. Like he's not that. Like if you look, let's here. Let's let's take a look at it. Like I don't know how many. 
how many people actually saw this, but like this is not normal for him. Let me show you. This is a really interesting thing that you might not have seen. Uh, what was that game? Thursday, right? So let's look at their schedule here. We're going to go back to the first game of the season. Which is, uh, was it this game? Might have been the Michigans. I looked at a bunch of their games against good teams. Here comes Oakland and Illinois. Let's take a look at Jack Golke. Two for six. Okay. How about, it wasn't this game. It must have been this game. Michigan State. They lost to Michigan State. Who at the time was very, very bad. Let's see Jack Golke. One for ten. So it's like, okay, hold on a second. He's really not that good of a three-point shooter. He just does nothing but shoot threes. And he's got like the weirdest hairline I've ever seen for a, high school, for a college kid. Kentucky had bad defense this year, so it contributed, but it's not the end-all be-all. I mean, they were straight up face-guarding him, and he was still getting shots off, so. The Hearthstone, Hearthstone visuals are pretty cool. Oh, they're amazing, yeah. Those items and stuff that come with that are like some of the best looking items in the game. Why are we still why are we still listed? Oh, this is that bullshit where people like leave the group listed the whole time, right? This is why I hate pugging raid. Well, we're just waiting for this guy to get here. Hopefully, uh, this guy's on his way though. It's getting kind of late. 4.35 already. One pull. Hopefully, it's all we'll need. And then we'll get the legendary. Pack it up. See you guys tomorrow, kind of thing. Takes so long to get the game going on a pug raid. Yeah, I know. It's annoying. Alright, everybody's here. Food. Let's eat up. Got like seven paladins. Yeah, actually seven. I think I finally turned my ad on. I've been wanting to turn that off for like years. I just always forget. I'm not gonna use a rune here. I'm out of runes almost. I need to get more. Okay, here we go. I'm heading to bed now, but good luck on the legendary. Thanks. This guy's really pulling it over here. Huh? What's he doing? See all that pink? Lock. Let's go, Lego. Yeah, well, we gotta kill the boss first, but. Presumably, we're gonna be alright here. Is this really a good place to tank it? It seems terrible.
All right, that's it for that. The fight is like so basic. It feels like such a bad end fight. Compare this to the jailer. It's like, wow, what a different fight. It wasn't their best work. Yeah, no, it really wasn't. I mean, it's a fine encounter. Like, if this was, like, the fifth boss of the raid, I'm sure it would have been great, but... This being the last boss of the raid is like, whoa, this is not a very good end fight. It's so easy on normal and heroic? Yeah, no doubt. should have been the big ass dragon the whole fight yeah well I mean in terms of the actual mechanics that's all I'm talking about like the visuals of the fight are pretty cool I, w I don't have no idea where the fuck we are but I guess we're on some kind of weird platform so I'm fine with that but sorry Denathrius is an amazing yeah Denathrius and the jailer like those two are the best two of the best fights they've ever made that end the raid uh, Savannah's not great but The answer is probably the best one, but I really did like, uh, I really did like, uh, Sylvanas as well. Or I really did like, uh, the Jailer as well. I kind of hated the Nathrius just because of the camera angles. Oh, really? Phase one of the Nathrius was like, wait let's see what happens kind of thing like it was nothing really and especially later in the tier and and then especially in the faded season you were able to like literally kill him so fast that phase one basically would you kill him so fast that you'd bug the phase out case could just ignore some of the pay phase one mechanics right yeah I don't get this must be like is this either a mythic thing or like something from like earlier or something this is really weird how people keep tanking this so far away from where it starts the first two times I killed this we literally just tanked him exactly where I did in normal and nobody said a word but the next two times I kill that now everybody's doing this weird shit where they're tanking him like 150 yards away from where he starts seems really weird I don't know why We haven't actually lost. I thought people were like less earlier. People less here now. People take it from the far side to give healers time to top the mobs. But doesn't that just stress the healers out because they have to run really far from the fight? Like if I was healing that, I would pre I'd prefer it to everything be centralized. Mythic would be at the center at the edge where the NPCs are. Oh yeah. Once the healing mobs are fully healed, they cannot be hit by lines. It makes the fight harder for heals, but brain dead for DPS. Oh, I see. It's the lines that you're more worried about. Okay. I 
What is that little thing? Little tornado. Alright, here we go. Legendary time, maybe finally. Nope. Two people did get it though. The tank, the other tank got it, nice. What has happened? Augury, but you have to be DPS. Expect to get that right. Oh well. I think that might be five heroic kills. Maybe it's only four, but. Surely four heroic kills plus like all the LFR and normal kills means like we're gotta be close to getting it. But maybe not. This guy got the augury. Yeah, see, I didn't even get loot credit because I'm not a DPS spec. All right, cool. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned on tomorrow's stream. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, we'll be streaming one or the other, but it may be on the PTR. We'll see. I don't know if that's coming up tonight or not, but uh, if not, we'll do it a live key, live keys again tomorrow. Um, took the full 14 horror kills for me, so maybe you'll get it before the next season. Yeah, at this rate, there's not. like If it's going to take 14 horror kills, then I will definitely not get it before next season. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't really care at this point. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back tomorrow one way or the other. So, yeah, have a good one. We will see you guys there.